channel, everyone. <laughs> and look, how you guys all doing? How you guys all doing? I am, uh, I'm, I'm doing, I'm certainly doing. <laughs> how is everyone? Man, I, um, a little bit late. Not that late, though. I, uh, yeah, I had to eat breakfast. I was very late to wake up today, uh, unfortunately. But I'm, 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 I'm very awake right now. And in good news, it is not, like, boiling to death today. Or, I'm not boiling to death today. Uh, right now, I'm doing, I'm doing good. I am not at critical, uh, shrimp temperature, so... <laughs> All things considered, I, uh, I consider that to be a win. Um, right, today. Uh, my brain lagged. <laughs> I want to do break the ice cream. yeah, yeah. Uh, whether or not I read the story is, like... Um, it's debatable. I could, I could absolutely do it. Um, it's quiet here. I am more worried about like uh, my voice dying on me because it's first thing in the morning for me. I'm gonna say at like 1 p.m. It's first thing in the morning for me. Uh, so we'll see. But um, yes. Good morning, good morning, Hope you're doing really well. It's been a while. <laughs> Gnosis pools. I already have Gnosis. I could pull for Gnosis again, but I already have them. So, I mean. Uh, I could. I'm mostly saving at the moment for, um... Oh, by the way, I'm not gonna worry about... No, screw it, no. You know what, we ball. Oh, wait, Nuker. Okay. Um... Oh, quick note. This is gonna be the first of two Ebby streams today. Uh, we'll be streaming in later tonight at... S I think I'm gonna start 7.45pm BST. Uh, please work out what the time that is in your time zone. I believe that is... Uh... How do you do maths? That is... 19. 19 minus 3. 6? No, 6. 6. That was 45 minutes from now. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense? I think that makes sense. I think I think I counted that right. I... I count your basic maths. <laughs> um... Yeah. Two streams today. Um... I feel like it's gonna be a bit of a... A bit of a difficulty trying to get the second stream ready in time. Uh... But... I'll do my best. We're gonna... We're gonna work through it. Everything's gonna be good. I am I'm a, I'm a professional. Look at his name. <laughs> How is the spider chilling? Oh, I haven't seen. Actually, no, I didn't see him, but I didn't see what he left behind. This place reminds um, me of Lungman. I went to grab it's something quiet. from the bathroom, and my hand hit a really a big sticky spider up, and I was, uh, yeah. Me man can only stay <laughs> did freak me out a little bit. I, I left right the spider to ever saw him in the morning, though. I don't know if anyone did see him, but I... It's not my problem anymore, so... I'll be, I'll be good. Math against enemy tattoo. mankind. I don't... I, I can't do math in my head. If you give me a, um, a piece of paper, I can write, like... I can do a lot of maths. So, so, so many maths. You don't even know about it. Um, but if you ask me to do something in my head, I really struggle because I, I, I don't have much RAM in my brain. I can handle single bits and nothing else. I could do one plus one, one plus zero, and zero plus one, and zero plus zero, and anything past that point is too many for my brain. Um. Do you need any supplies? All right. Just let me know. Big question is though, cringe of reading or non cringe of reading? Me, you say? I did hear this Ooh, event is kind of long. I thought I was reading find it on the wiki. Uh, if yes. if I want to, but yeah. Is Cruz here too? Yeah, be what's for? What do you mean? What do you mean? What's for? Or what for? Are you using British maths plural? No, no, no. Current maths is is is, is, is charge. It's it's mathematics, right? It's not mathematic. It's mathematics. So it's plural. You're not learning one math. You're learning many maths, right? So your argument is invalid. <laughs> I stand by it. That's not the endorm. Oh no, 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 he does not get healed. He's been in that critical condition since he arrived in my, uh, in, in my version of Rose Island. And he will stay that way until the day that the servers get EOS. <laughs> um, alright. Is throat in good condition for eating? Uh, it's debatable. My throat's never in good condition, honestly. It's like. I only ever get like a non sore throat past like 9 p.m. and by that point I'm already too tired to stream. So, mm -mm. <laughs> where's math two then? What? <laughs> if math is so good, why they make math two? Oh, uh, yeah. I don't know what math two is. is the same as it ever was. Morning. But, got Ooh, any there we go. plans? Hey, 
It goes like Originium. Uh, okay, I haven't actually done any of the polls. For look, 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 look right. I have been responsible. I have been responsible. I've not pulled on either of these banners. I didn't even pull on the Irene banner. I, it's, it's out of 10 rules still. I have been so responsible. And I'm saving. Because one day, there's gonna be a Lee rerun banner. And on that day, I'm getting Lee if it kills me. <laughs> also, because we have Passenger Couts it and Gnosis, so... Um... I'm pretty lucky already. What is it? We've established that we already have like 200 and something... Characters? Out of the 230 that are like in the game. So, I don't think I need to be doing any more pulls for a while. <laughs> Although... I guess in the background today, we can try and save up. I do want to get uh, Scotty to E2. Which means uh, we'll have to get LMB. Yes. That's what really on this banner yesterday. Is he good? Um, I mean, I'm biased. I'm going to say yes. I like him a lot, but... uh, <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't consider operators to be good whether or not like they are viable in the meta. I consider operators to be good whether or not I like them. And I love Lee, so he's good by that definition. <laughs> The Lee Man just thrown in and it will most likely repeat itself with the uh, other rate up. Oh no, seriously. It, it'll be, um... It'll be worse. Because I'll have, like, saved. I'll, I'll be wasting all my savings on a Lee Banner that does not love me back. Right. Let's give this a look. We can read. Or we cannot read. Um, this, wait, is this straight a tutorial? Or wait, is the story a separate thing? We can just we can just do the tutorial, I guess. Um, he also happens very strong. Yeah, yeah. Also, his his, his um his tail is also very strong. Um, I will make no other comments. <laughs> the one side of the is shrimp with the card bed. <laughs> I mean, don't need to call me out like this. All uh, right, okay. Snowfall and icy surfaces. Hmm. I see big ice blocks, but I guess these are just like barriers, right? Well, time to learn. Sure, tutorial, cool. Lisa Connor said, uh, leeches off all your deploy cost, though. Well, he leeches all your DP, yeah. But he's cool, so he can get away with it, is what I think. Uh, well, fighting in a bitter cold, all commanders will be affected to some extent, even the warriors of. Uh, Kiarag? How do you. This is. This is. It's not Kierag, because that's this this feels like Swedish or like Okay, so anyone from it from uh, from Sweden, Finland or uh the other one is probably getting <laughs> probably getting frustrated at me for not recognizing it. It, it it looks it looks vaguely that area. What's the word for those countries? Oh is it Yarag? Okay, it doesn't even we don't even pronounce the K. Cool. Uh Or is it is it Kierag? Okay. Sc Scandinavia, that's the one. Wait, is that the country or is that the the the, the, the group of countries? <laughs> I'm just gonna raise my hand and say that I don't I, I don't know geography. <laughs> but that should go as a surprise. Okay. Uh units on an IC service will periodically periodically be chilled, inflicting the cold status and reducing your attack speed. Okay, cool. So wait, IC surface is it literally just like this stuff or anything or can use the region? Okay. I admittedly, look, I am not very well versed in any kind of geography or any kind of general knowledge. Yeah. <laughs> um, right. So we use Denmark, Sweden, and Norway. Okay, that's what I meant. Or Nordic also includes Finland and Iceland. Oh, yeah. Wait, in that case, wait. It... Huh. I did not- I, I thought Finland was one of the top three, but I guess it's not then. Wait, where's them? Wait. I think I need to look at a map right now. <laughs> oh, this here's icy. So all these squares ice squares then, or? Oh, Finland is the top three. Hey, every question one. Why would you wear socks to bed and two? Why would you wear wet socks to bed? Okay, I will explain. So you, you switch bed and got you bunch. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. To explain. Oh, uh, well, I did the tutorial. Uh, before okay, cool. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna explain in great detail why I do that, mm -hmm. and it's very simple. I wear wet socks to bed because it is really hot in the UK, 
Our houses in the UK are designed to keep in, uh, keep in the heat, right? No, it's not, it's not weird to wait when it sucks to bed, okay? All right, I will explain. Um... Uh... I think on this way, do we need to... Okay, I'll just... I'll let them cook, because I'm assuming we're gonna get someone who can deal with this in a second. Um... Just on the AC. UK houses don't have AC in them! We don't have AC! Oh, <laughs> uh, so something going... Okay, cool. Uh, Shaw... Wait. <laughs> it's just another one. You want to... Uh, wait. You want to put some metal crab into the pit, right? Even if the crab is pretty light, I'm not sure I can cover that distance. Uh... Wait, the metal crab is frozen. Oh, wait! If they're frozen, they slide along the ground then, right? Oh, that's kind of cool. Um... No so anyway... We, wet, wet socks, right? If it's really, really, really hot at night, your 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 like your ankles have veins that look close to the surface on them, right? And so, if you want to help cool yourself down and you don't have AC, uh, what you do is you wet your socks, you put them on your feet, you make them like damp. You know, like you know, you're gonna soaking wet socks, right? Um, but you 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 wet your socks and then you uh wear them, and the water constantly evaporates, keeping your feet nice and cool, and it keeps you cool too. You're welcome for the knowledge. <laughs> Mission accomplished. There's nothing wrong with uh. I think we did all. There's nothing wrong with wearing socks. Uh, the wet socks. Um, if you see the magical man called the fan, but the fan doesn't do anything though. Like the fan just blows existing air at you. So in my case, because not only is the UK really hot, it's also really humid, like really humid. Um. Yeah, like, it just blows really hot human air back at you, right? So, you need to wet your socks, put your wet socks on your feet, and then you're nice and cool. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with- Oh god, my throat. There's nothing wrong with that. God damn it. Ah! There we go. Wait, did you hear my cough? Hopefully you didn't. I think I had to mute, but if it works. Uh, right. Uh, so, wait, these- Fun fact. Jerag is a real mountain in Norway. Oh! Its name is believed to be a compound of the words for kid, kie, and goat hair, drug. Did he just pronounce that correctly? Thanks for showing up with the gadget Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> huh. Well, you learn something new every day, I guess. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. Did you pronounce it right? So that's Kierag then? I think that was like a little bit, a little bit of like a, another, another sound that was in that, like for, especially for the Kia. I don't know. I, I can't, I can't language. <laughs> but <laughs> oh yeah, so these are the ice surfaces. Oh, this is normal. I'm guessing. Cool. Uh, yeah, it's fine. We'll be good with this. Mm -mm -mm. Question is, do we read? Uh, but we're getting Zebby. Uh, you saw how you today? We didn't even see me in eight thousand years. I'm pretty sure it's been a little less than that, but I'll do it pretty good. I think I'm winning. I haven't tried yet, but hope you're doing good too. Shall shall we read? Or shall I not read? Ian can read. Well, it depends on the day and whether or not I like the characters. I guess you can read the first one, but uh, cringe every reading is cringe. So if you don't like me reading, then uh, I won't read. But I can read. Where is my um? Ha! Uh, Sorry's worth it. Okay, external force. And then it touched. Uh, am, I, <laughs> am I mute? See, you already, already messed it up. <laughs> okay. I might need such a voice from outside, which is the lightest push. An avalanche will bury the whole of Kerag. Conspiracies, machinations, and all. Please vote for every reading corner. Reading corners. Cringe, though. I can't. I hate my voice. <laughs> Thank you so much, all you for the super chat. No super chat. The membership. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. My brain is not here today. Thank you so, 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 so much. Can I do a hot manly voice to scratch his lines though? Uh, I'll, I'll give him a really dumb voice instead. Uh, sir, this is just a shoddy, a shoddy plank of wood. What makes itself for 50 whole pounds? Are they using British currency? Now, sir, you'll want to learn something new today. This is no ordinary piece of wood. It's a blessing of Kiaragander, goddess of Snarlm. Oh god, my throat. <laughs> Again! See what I mean? See what I mean? If he's gonna be a BA, no. <laughs> I can't act to save my life. 
Well, it's all thanks to her protection that Kiara could be free from the catastrophes and set roots down here. And the stuff that made this charm comes from the evergreen trees of Mount Jungfrau, or our second highest peak in all of Kiarag. I'm pronouncing every single name wrong. Oh, do you know much about Jungfrau? Legends say it's a mountain formed from the tears of Kiaragander as they fell and froze. The trees watered in the snow from on high grow. Oh, the trees watered in the snow from on high grow full of Kiaragander's love and fear for this land. And chimes made from that timber assure your safety and warding up to the calamity where you may go. She's only VA, she's Ian Palau. It's not- that's not true! That is not true! <laughs> if not the Ian voice actors for Palau. <laughs> See, this is your first time here in Kiarag. Wanna take some souvenirs for your home folk back in Victoria? What gives you that idea? Listen, these last two years, Mr. Enciodius has been- has had more and more of these big corporate who- uh, who's it? Who, who's it? Who's it? Blocking in. I heard your accent and knowing you straight away. To new people like you, see, I recommend these charms in particular to mark the occasion. Heard of the... Oh my god, what is this word? <laughs> That's... Okay, that is too many consonants in a row. That is too many consonants. It was gonna be the ENVA of the new VTuber character in Heartless. I don't know who you're talking about, but I... <laughs> if I ever became, uh, uh... Like... Maybe, I don't know, I, one, of, one of my dreams from now on, at least like, you know, early this year I started feeling this way. I, I wanted to, uh, oh, it's, it's, Shagata? Okay, cool. Um, I, uh, I want to, I want to be in a gacha game. <laughs> I do want to be able to voice act, but I can't. I suck. Uh, I heard a chapter maybe? Uh, there are people eating beasts deep in our mountains. Sinister to the eye, inhuman, there and gone again when you least expect. But so long as you're wearing this charm, blessed by the vine bear court, you'll carry those things under Kiarander's might, and they won't harm you. And just think, you take it back to your family and tell them, this charm bears the divine protection of Kiarag's Mount Carlan. Paints the complete picture, doesn't it? And Siodi's nuts! No! You, <laughs> you can't say that. You just tell me to cross the land uh, to Kiarag. You wouldn't go back to your own without something nice for it, would you? <sighs> Fine, I'll take one. One for my wife and little tot each. That's the ticket. If only we could all be straightforward as you. Let me see. Oh, sorry. This one must have been stripped from any random mountain. Uh, this one must have been stripped from any random mountain tree. Huh? Hey! It's Cliff 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 Larry? I don't know. I don't know much about operators that aren't six stars. Admittedly, I I am I'm not <laughs> I'm an embarrassment. Uh well I guess you guys to say that. First, without approval from the uh pa 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 riches? No one's even allowed to climb Drunk Frau. Second. Oh, is it Young Frau? I think it, uh, it's one of the two. I don't know. Uh Second, I shouldn't hear about anyone climbing her while I was gone. When I left Gag, I even told uh, Weiss, if anyone makes up, uh, makes it up there, I'll be sure. Uh, be sure to send me a message. How do you know who? Wait a minute, that tail. You can't miss uh, Anisia. Or oh, Ansia, Ansia. Ansia, you're Mr. Ansia's sister. Uh huh. Now hold it, sir. Were you actually trying to swindle me? I was just wondering, have you ever tested the silver when she starts eating the board? <laughs> No, you know it's like chocolate. Um, uh, you can get like chocolate test pieces, right? It's just, it's just eating that. Hmm. <laughs> uh, well, they said Miss Ansia loved climbing ever since she was little. Seems she knows more about the snow caps than us commoners, after all. All these wares of mine came from the hun hunters in the mountains. Actually, they must have been the ones swindling me, no doubt. I'll be going to find them and settle our score. As for this charm, Miss Ansia, would you mind? It's true it has the Vine Bear Court's blessing. No one of Kiara would dare to forge that seal and offend Kiara Gander. You want to ward off any rumors? Uh, Chagat? Chagat? <laughs> Why is it so hard to pronounce with it? Forget it. But if you take it back to Souvenir, I think it'll work great. If you play chess the same way, it's the great tradition. Donkey Hunter, exactly. Exactly. I just eat the pieces. <laughs> um. So, just slash the price a little. In light of that, I'll put them on 10 pounds a piece. No, sir. Are you still buying? Is this like... Is this British currency? Or are we just talking a different currency? 
The sister of Mr. Mr. Siori says there's a bunch of got no reason to be skeptical. Business for you must be tough. I'll take five of them. Coming right up. Are you here to buy anything, Miss and Sia? Whatever you fancy, it's yours. My business owes itself to the silver ashes after all. No, no, I'll pay you like normal. Right, Doctor. Oh, wait, we're here too! Oh, um, Luckily, I've written a Victorian and, Kaz and Kashmir uh, cash. See, I think I pronounced that right this time. Hey. <laughs> Cheers, we could exchange what we want, but it's still only worth anything in our family's region. And this trade point's doing the hottest business anywhere in our land. You may as well spend all that money right here. You'll still get away with it. This is the doctor event. Hey! Lady and Ciro, we should be on our way to the station by now. Oh, we're tight on time. Doctor, let's go! The blizzard is coming. Take caution, outsider. Oh, who's saying that? And you are... You don't want to freeze. Leaving now will still save your skin. Huh? What are you blanking for, Doctor? So I heard voices again. <laughs> huh? There's nobody here, though. Oh, God. It's far from the right season for leisurely outdoor coffee. What? But cool, the cool seems like a good, ch a good place to do that, right? Also, by the way, is the text... Is it appearing in the right place? Does it actually show names? I didn't check. Um... Zero Saturday Doc, yep. You look behind you and only see the right canopy of my throat blocking the sun. The sign advertising Carl and Trade. Listen to the voices of you listen to us? No. Oh, it does? Hey, nice. I'm glad. The really trailer sits silent, just like the distant peaks of pure white. Maybe it was the pages of the magazine on the table rustling in the wind that gave you the illusion someone was sitting next to you, talking to you. So it was just the voices. Oh, it does say the name. Hey, look at me. I actually planned this out. I'm professional. Uh, doctor, snap out of it! Let's move! And we just- we give in to the voices. We'll meet again. Ah! <laughs> Drink more water, I don't have any warm water. I have, like, ice-cold water, though. Matterhorn, and you're here! The master's waiting for you. Good to see you, Ice. Is that how you pronounce it? I think I'm pronouncing it wrong. Aren't you going? I was going to, but the master wants to invite the doctor to the tri, tri clan council with him. And have me say bye. Uh, have me say back to greet them in your place. Uh, after all, I'm an employee of Rotana myself. Thank you, such a good your numbers. Thank you. And the heavy uh, and the voices in her head. Uh, there are no voices in my head. I, <laughs> I was gonna say I take my meds, but I have no meds to take. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> I think you must be ready for vacation after guiding the young lady for so long. Besides, given you're out here, I'm guessing she ditched you. <laughs> yes, she's shopping with the doctor right now. She wanted a vacation for me too, so she had me let her free. That's the master and the young lady for you. Well, how do you feel being back this time? The territory has been fast with con uh, vast with, con with construction and huge in its overall change. It's almost irrecognizable already. That's the master for you indeed. I'll take the two of them up on their great uh, uh, on their great kindness and visit home for now. See my parents, and they'll be still uh, on standby the masters. My sister said, like, Vice? It's German for white. Okay, so I'm not gonna pronounce it correctly, then. Uh, <laughs> How about you? Me. You've been away for a while, too. Last time we met, weren't you off with the Master to Columbia? I quite nothing pressing. Saving the streets again is more than enough for me. If Emmy's head is empty, she's hearing voices, just echoes. I guess you could say they're lingering echoes. Nope. Okay. Uh, what about the old, uh, intro friend of yours? Munch, I think, was the name. You'd abide with him if you had the time. That's... We'll see, I guess. Hmm. It's me! Can you hear me? I can hear you. Why is the music really quiet for you guys, too? It feels, like, very quiet. Brilliant! It looks like the base station signal is fine. Hmm. How are you? I found a, a suitable hidden spot, uh, a few suitable hidden spots for the conversation installation. But no matter where we install a station in Turicum. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I am I am way too immature to ever play to, to ever read to ever play this game. <laughs> There's something wrong with me. 
Over the outside. <laughs> oh god, setting up a contest. <laughs> Why do I try? <laughs> setting up a contest network here is a, ma is a massive importance, but if you. If you want to clear the old Kirax, setting up a few more simple stations at the central like reach. <laughs> What I mean is, you haven't been back in Kiara for a long time. How do you feel? Oh. <laughs> Honestly, it feels totally unbelievable. When I love Kiara under the Silver Ashes talent fostering program, it was from here too. Back then, even. <laughs> <laughs> find it funny and the fact that you find it funny is funnier to you than the fact that you laughed at it so you're not laughing at why it's you're not laughing at the thing that you originally found funny you're laughing at the fact that you found it funny and the more funny you find it the more you laugh because it's like a sort of feedback loop and we're just i'm just making it worse the more i think about it the more i laugh because i shouldn't be laughing and that makes me want to laugh more And I, I think I need to sleep. I think I need to get one full night's sleep for once in my life because I think I'm too tired. <laughs> oh god, at this point I think you can argue it stands up to the cities uh, on the outside. Doing construction work like this in the snowy mountains must be harder than I could <laughs> Can ever imagine. Oh god, that's almost coming. No, no, no. It's like when you find something funny... And you know you shouldn't find it funny, but the fact that you find it funny is funnier than the thing itself. That's what I'm experiencing right now. It's like... Uh, I used to have one all the time, right? When you like... We don't like... Uh, in class, people have to present some stuff. And there's always like, this one group of girls that like... Just laugh and they can't stop laughing. And they shouldn't... They, they know they shouldn't be laughing. The teacher is frustrated, but they just... They cannot stop laughing at it. Because they're just like... That's just... Yeah, it's, it's, about, it's about you find it funny, but you shouldn't find it funny that it's funnier than the thing itself. I'm sure that makes sense to someone. Oh god, we need some laughing thing about the lingering echoes. Oh god, you're right. Oh, that'll make me cry instead. I got close to tears though laughing so hard. There's, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm broken today. Uh, good. Where are you all right now, Captain? I'll come find you. We're boarding a train to Carlin. You don't need to come with, uh, come you, uh, come with yet. Huh? You mentioned your home was in an industrial area in the mountains. Yep. For now, go back and visit. Nothing more important than family. Just focus on our words, tell me your thighs, think you're everything. I mean, I've been doing that, yeah. <laughs> there is a, um... 
I said this as well the first time I saw her. It's like, what practical reason does does a thigh window play in terms of like outfits and stuff? Because you think about like, okay, think about operators on like the field or something, right? You are you are fighting. You're on the field. You currently have every single vital organ exposed, and the thigh is the most vital organ of all, right? So, this is, you're not gonna, if you get, if you get, like, hit, you're never gonna survive. <laughs> like, sharp, I can, look, every, there's so much armor here. Aurora is just gonna, like, fall over if the wind blows slightly awkwardly on her. And again, of course, the thigh is the most, the most vital organ of all is, uh, unprotected. <laughs> Someone just fashioned that thick you would be distracting at times. Okay, fair enough. Maybe that's how she does it then. She just distracts the enemy. But nothing's more important than family. But you're back in the mountains. It's the perfect opportunity to head for home. The doctor thinks so too. Did the doctor say that? Well, I understand. If you're okay with it, then I will. So the doctor. The doctor has me with. Nice. The train oh wait, this is the broadcast. Uh the train for the foot of Mount Carlin's at the deport. There we go. Look at me, I'm being resourceful. <laughs> the train will depart soon. Please board now. Oh, I'm heading out. Thank you so much for the super chat. <laughs> I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. Come on, Abby, come back <laughs> to us. Breath in, breath out. Let it come out of you. You can't do this to far. me. <laughs> it's time to come to terms with that sense of humor of yours. Now, come on, say it, Turicum. You can't. You you cannot. You can't. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. I think the TTS are getting to that faster than I could. Makes it makes it easier for me. Oh god, I'm I'm gonna laugh every single time I see that name, and I'm just gonna be laughing at the fact that I'm I'm, I'm laughing at it. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. This is certainly one of the Evie streams of all time. I think. Then. Thank you so much. Oh god. <laughs> I'm gonna break over it. Oh. <laughs> something wrong with me. Oh, uh, wait, it's black screen? Black screen. With a steam whistle and a faint announcement, the train departing for Kylan sets slowly into motion. Uh, Doctor, let me tell you about the names of all these peaks. Look, the one there with the flattish slope is Jungfrau. Or, you know, is it Jungfrau? I think it's Jungfrau. The third's, uh, Saint Tess, name that one. The really steep one there, that's Matterhorn. His name actually came straight from that one. Ah, oh, she looks so happy. <laughs> and see continues on with something to say about all the scenery that passes by. And all that care, I guess. And see so cute in this heart. Yes! A side curry with his eternal smile, listening to every word quietly and respectfully. From time to time, the farewell look in his eyes carries in of something unclear. He has got a nice smile though, too. <laughs> Shall reclines against the seat with his uh, browsing net pages. He'll find the contents of Carrie's internet exceeds his expectations. Or far exceeds his expectations. Oh, he's, he's playing, uh, he's playing Candy Crush on his phone. That's it. Mm -hmm. Alternative, uh, alternately, you listen to NC and cast your gaze out the window. Outside, remnants of ice drift in a lake reflecting the blue sky. Some locals are together at its shallows. Dra some drawing water, some drawing, doing their laundry. I'm laughing. The purest white snow peaks stand imposingly tall, and any time to lift your head and see their uh, end blocked by the sunlight. Halfway up, with the mountain level some, uh, with the mountains level somewhat, a young shepherd her flux of uh, a young shepherd her flux of stock beast home. No surprise crosses him as he sees the people aboard the train. Instead, he lifts his whip, waving even greeting. Not far away is the village where he lives. Smoke spiraling from chimneys, peaceful and prosperous. So I was actually grinding ice through like a gamer, that's the one, yeah. Mm -hmm. The sight of it all wipes the cares from your mind. I could really use going go, just 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 going on trips some days. Mm. Perhaps this journey will just be uh, will be just fine. If only I could read words in order. Oh, why does Korea look so cool though? Everyone's art looks really cool. Oh, well, there's been a lot. I'm already liking it. And that was, you know what? That wasn't too long. Mm hmm. Let's go! Oh, speaking of which. So these are the bad tiles, right? Again. 
And these are the good ones. It's okay, we ball. Solid positioning. I see. Okay, okay. So that little knuckle gun is fine, but the others are, are uh, can be bad. And give me all the real. The rest is up to you guys. Mm hmm. I'll charge the weak spot. All right. Been for a long ride. It'll be. It'll be fine. Mm. Maybe it's just like the um. <laughs> Moving to designated location. Maybe it's just um the fans, but I think the audio is kind of quiet. If, if, if I need to turn it up, just let me know. Can I stay back? Mechanics of the advantage is pressing after the last events. Yes, I will. Oh, I'll take it. I'll absolutely take it. The performance will be there we go. Soon. We can just now but relax. It seems our audience can't contain themselves. Pixel Disparos are only humans after- Look, okay. Do you- Oh wait, he's on the wrong skill. Whoops. Let me switch back to, uh, Ebon S2. Um, oh, it's very cool. I'm very glad. I, I like this mechanic already. You mind it's kind of going funny with our mechanics, yeah. I mean, a challenge is good. Oh wait, I just, uh, guys, I just realized I left the uh, names thing on the screen. I'm not used to having it. If I leave it on my mistake, please just scream me. I, um, I don't mean to leave it on. It is, uh, accidental. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not used to doing story on stuff. It's been a while since I last read any kind of story, so. Scream me if I need to get rid of it. The new Nevin skills, he just knows he's always on the wrong one. Yeah, S2 is, um... He places down explosive goats, which is uh, such a badass uh, power move. <laughs> and S3 is a nuke. Uh, a boss nuke, uh, a boss nuke specifically. Mm. <laughs> it's taking too long. Keep it down, uh, Cyrus. Cyrus. I'll uh, interrupt my train of thought. Uh, what's to think about? And see what he says to hand his land over this time. Uh, Ikata, in your opinion. I agree with us, but certain NCODs won't just lie down and take it. At least you think before you talk. I'm like your your wife here. Oh, who exactly is this about? You, of course, my beautiful little sister. If it only wasn't for uh Ar Ar Arctos and his idiot face firing off at anything to do with Carlan, I don't want to fall out with NCODs this soon. That's for sure. People like NCODs are a handful. You want to be crooks? He'll be sure to put us on the bank too, at least. Not to mention. Something tells me he won't accept his sorry lot, and it's telling me loud. <sighs> In my view, I said keep it down. S is this Cyrus? <laughs> it's all out! <laughs> I kinda see it. Um, if you really have something to say, you can go outside and tell the mountains about it. Of course, I won't let you back indoors. <sighs> Fine, I'll just shut up then. I'm so happy to talk to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, Arctos arrives. Hmm? Serious? Oh, okay. At the summit of Carlin in winter, the frigid winds never rest. But the look in Ar Ar Arctos' eyes and the sound of his great axe as it drags along the ground and bursts comes to full people. It's as if the winds are his to bring. Look who's here, Arctos. Oh, look who's here, Arctos, my fine friend. And Ciodis. Who might answer that? I thought you would have bumped into each other outside and settled everything there. Uh Rizis. <laughs> ah! Okay, we're good. Uh <laughs> and that way I wouldn't need to be tormented in here and I can go home happy. How surprising that's oh wait, should you like a really deep voice? How surprising that something could even torment you, Ratatos. I'm gonna read that as Brathalos by mistake. <laughs> of course, I would torment to the to the nines. Such as more and more people in my territory wanting to work for a living at NCODs instead. Or Gulo, the most uh, able officer you have, not showing up today. Why? Heavy <laughs> sneezes like a dog toy squeak. <laughs> no! <laughs> you caught a cold. Me too, me too. 
Here, uh, here, X30 is soldier catching a cold. Oh, see, here, X30 is soldier catching a cold. That's no good omen. Looks like we'll need that man and their NCOs to give us, to give him some treatment. Gnosis, that one. He'll get better on his own. Fine, fine. No good deed of mine goes unpunished. Seeing as you're here, it looks like we're just missing NCOs now. The three o'clock chime was not yet sounded. Nice. Ah, oh, it is NCOs. Okay, I see a two of you waiting. Sir Antiotis, the great elder wife! Hmm? There's a mystery. Why are the two of them together? Antiotis, don't tell me you went uh, praying to the same test before coming to this meeting. Far from it. I meant the girl. Wait, should you look a really, <laughs> really deep voice for Antiotis? <laughs> um, the wind from Kira got a yeah, yeah, it's the cold. I have a dog toy too, but didn't comment on it. I don't, I don't sneeze like a dog toy, do I? Really? Um, <laughs> far from it. <laughs> I'm, I met the great elder along the way, and had a, and had a few words with him. He, he talks very like poshly, doesn't he? But I can't do that voice. It's too deep. Great elder, you first. <laughs> a fine courtesy. I can't, I can't, uh, how, how, oh, he's so cool like this. I don't know how to even make my voice go. The entrance to the hole slowly shuts, and the air inside, on oh, the inside, settling down in an instant after. The great elder sits straight in the middle. Arctots and Matatos stand to, this, to one side, and Enciotis to the other. The gulf of difference is stark. Former Trico and Councils always had to sit together, taking, uh, talking of the year's crop of repairs, whose house had done more, and who's required assistance after blights of snow. <laughs> no! No! Don't say fool for what reason has no come, you're gonna- <laughs> Why must you remind me? No! <laughs> I do not foreseen such a topic at today's council. <sighs> you want to really grow into Yonis about that. Oh, this is the deep one. So you want to really grow into Yonis about that. No need for such aggression, Arctal. <laughs> As the great elder said, the Tricon Council should be no place for us to blame and reproach each other. I wonder if you heard the one about the pot and the kettle, Antiotis. <laughs> enough, enough. Given we're all here, we shall commence this meeting of the Tricon Council. Like here, Gandir. Like here, Gandir. You like some stories, but looks so great. Uh, some actual wallpaper materials. Yes. Um, I presume all three are aware of the purpose of this council. On Mr. Arcton's and Mr. Rathalos, uh, Mr. Rathalos's proposal, I'm gonna read it as Rathalos. I'm so close to reading it as uh, Rathalos. At last meeting, the Soul Rashes would uh, cede governing authority over the valleys and mining regions for the Palaroches and Brown Tails to then administrate. In addition, the Soul Rashes withdraw from the Parliament of the Triclan Council. Uh, oh god, how do you pronounce... <laughs> how do you pronounce that name? This last name. Uh, Gnosis... Uh, um, 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 help, help, chat, help, help. Ow, 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 I can't sit straight on this chair. Uh, Gnosis, uh... Edel, Edel, what, what, vice? Okay, right, I was pronouncing it probably correctly. I don't want to do that, um... Gnosis, uh, Edel, Edel, vice. <laughs> oh, Edel, Edel, vice, okay, cool. Has been exposed from his post by myself. I believe both of you know this already. Uh, well, 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 I feel like you just do the same voice for both of them. What good does knowing that do? Gnosis is your aid. How could his actions not have been according to your instruction? If you think pinning the blame on him will let you escape punishment, then think again. Arc uh, Arctots, why come to such an arbitrary conclusion? I can't do a deep voice. I was like, ugh. Oh, a able voice. Okay, cool. Uh. And Ciotis, there's there's much I can tolerate from you. You can open your factories in your territory. Do your business recruit your foreigners? That is your territory. Whatever ghoulish form you twist it into, it's not my concern. But never should you have led your railroad to Carlin, bringing the coffers change in holy earth. And your mining up to Carlin's foot, extracting resources in secret, is beyond the pale. What do you take the ground of Carlin for? What do you take the land of Kyrian for? You even plotted against an inspection team so that they would not they would not they wouldn't investigate factories. My subordinates are still bent down for it. Is that what you want to say? That these are all uh, the doings of that accursed Idlewise? Uh, Idle, Idlewise. Idlewise. Okay, cool. 
And nothing to do with you. Gnosis was once my most trusted partner, and I mistakenly gave him too much power. For that, I'm deeply regretful. One of you, Aratos. Is there really no leeway to reserve course between us? <sighs> I really would love to help you, Anseodis. After all, six whole years ago, it was me who paved your way back into this hall. Of course it hurts, pushing you out again by my own hands. But in the end, when it's about all of Kirinag, I can't just defend you. I just can't defend you. I believe the Roundtails have benefited greatly from business inter- <laughs> Am I denying that? It's not just money in our pockets. We can read the rewards for the subjects too. It wouldn't be a fan. Only sticks in the mud like Arctots. Let's art this out, Arctots. It's Arctot? I don't know. I, okay, I don't know how to pronounce it. Even if you're stronger than this, am I really? Am I really stronger than this? I'm not. I'm not. I'm absolutely immature. I've got the brain of a five year old. I, I can't. <laughs> But even though people talk behind my back thanks to it, crying witch about me, I have still a bottom line in Ciotis. I don't know what you read, uh, right or learn in those four years you studied outside. That drives you to abuse our trust to this point. I was wrong about you six years ago in Ciotis. I'll pay for that in time, but you're gonna pay first. Seating the values and minds in our jurisdiction, as well as this old rash's seat in the tri Council. These are your demands. It's not an excessively high price. Or is it not an excessively high price? Carlin Trade is already stricken in its then-director in these affairs. Gnosis, office register. The company's growth policy is recently mildened, too. Now much is plain to see. Too late, Enciodis. If this price wasn't high, how would you ever remember it? If you wanted to see forgiveness, you never would have done any of this in the first place. But since you have done it already, then today, here and now, you must pay something for it. Are you handing over your governance to the valleys and mines, or are you not? Are you seceding for the Tricon Council, or are you not? Hmm. All I've done up till now was for the development of Kirag. That is, that it would worsen our relations with the Pelaroaches and Brown Tails to this percent, uh, present extent was never my wish. I can't read anything. This is why I don't ever read it, because I just, I, I see words and I get them mixed up in my head. And from the exchanges I've just had with the two of you, I see this worse, this worsening is already in, uh, unavoidable and unredeemable. I somewhat foresaw it, but to arrive at this moment in reality, at this time of gr grievance and ultimatum in this hall, still fills me with sorrow. But I truly cannot bear to see a fissure arise in the three clans that govern Kiarik together. Ah, it's weird doing it, Evois. <laughs> descent in the three clans uh, signifies the descent in, uh, descent in Kiarik. It signifies that Kiarganer's people are soon to lose their collective homeland. And Siodis, if you truly thought so, you truly have a for even one moment. You would have sent yourself packing from Kiarag, back to your Victoria, and been a worry less than Kiarag yourself. Arctots, I am Silvery Silverash. I'm the head of the Silver Ashes. This means I must bear my responsibility for the future of Kiarag, and fulfill what is obliged of me. I don't know what makes you feel I should have stayed in Victoria. Is it because of those days only, of only two clans of Parliament made you feel so much more... more feel, is it because those days of only two clans of Parliament made you feel so much more powerful? Not to mention, my reforms in the, in the years I've led the Silver Ashes are, are a reality. The people of my territory haven't just got gained from the way of life I've brought. They've continued to advance such lives by their own accord. Even if I leave, the machines will still work, and the trains on their tracks will still set into motion. Or do you truly believe that if I'll hand off the valleys in mine today, and cease operations with fa factories and railroads, that the people working there, the people benefiting from what it produces, will accede? That's your problem to solve, Antiotis. No, Aratos. Maybe you have an incredible trust in my problem-solving ability. But at base, this is not a problem I alone must face. You wouldn't suggest that the Browndale subjects have never profited any from these years Carl and Trade has done business? How many people of the Arginium stoves kept going through the coldest winters procured from Colombia by Carl and Trade? There, there are no catastrophes in our mountains, but the ice and snow still claim lives. <laughs> Don't let you talk, please. I'll do my best. <laughs> I think I did it in my sleep because I'm like, uh, on the side of my tongue, it like really hurts. I think I bit my tongue when I was sleeping. Yeah. Why is it so disgraceful that the, he the herders' prods or the fertilizer that comes to Victoria? You, have, you brought about the situation today, including your constant embellishment of yourself, and now you're using that same situation to menace us shamelessly. Get it out. Say this is all your accomplishment. 
say you're powerless to give those of, uh, of Kianic self-sufficiency, and that you're not afraid to have them mocking you. You, head of the Silver Ashes. Wrong, Maritosh. To menace is the bluff of the one who likes confidence! What? This is so, so... Like, big brain! It's going on in my, right on my head! Silver Ashes sound like something you get from Mercury Poisoning. They do! Um... Well, I am only recounting the truth. You deem Carlin trade as a menace to Kiarag. That in itself is a mockery beyond the heavens. <laughs> You've got some gall by the sound of it, NCODs. I remember. You've been good at talking this sort of talk ever since you were young. Don't waste your breath, NCODs. Today you will... But I'm not handing over today. General Gulo would have directly assumed control of the valleys, having been stationed close by long ago. You... Don't be so quick to resort to force, Arctos. Or Arctos. I don't like Ar Is it Arctos? I don't know how to pronounce it at all. I can make commitments and decisions accordingly to your proposals. Conflict has been far from my intent up to now. As the head, I will not put up with any losses either. But if it's for putting this grievous state of affairs in check, for the alliance of the three clans of the Snow Mountains, then in the capacity of Kyrgyz people, the Silver Ashes can make con concessions. Arctos? <laughs> don't make me hungry. Uh, I'm fully able to offer the valleys and mines with both hands. You're serious? You can say a fine line. And Ziodis, there's no one here who will be taken in by your drivel. Hence why I say, right thoughts. Don't rush. Impetuousness will be your weakness, guardian axe of Kiragander, most pious soldier of Kirag. I can accept these conditions you two have devised, but it will not be handed to the Palaroches, <laughs> nor the Brown Tails. Then to whom did you give it? What, Kiragander? Completely correct, Dark Thoughts. Most faithful of the people of Kiragander. Every inch of territory, the Silver Ashes, and of you all, too, is fundamentally accorded to us by Kiragander's trust. We merely supervise it in Kiragander's place. Hold on, you can't be. It is as you imagine, Maritos. I decided I will hear your demands and give the Silver Ashes valleys and mines and hold to the Vine Bear Court for the same desk to handle its factories and pits. Oh, wait, he's giving it in? Okay. What? So as to avert conflict between the three clans, Kira got to have a leader who can hold the faith of both the three clans and the Storm citizens at once. But we managed. I believe that having the, vic the vicar of Kiragan to take control of Kiarag once again, as, uh, as in times past, is a fair and reasonable thing. I imagine that peaceful, peacefully settling this issue, peacefully partitioning the Silver Ashes assets, and peacefully avoiding direct clash with the clear families is what we hope for by all rights. But it's us, Arctots. I can give up my values and minds on this one condition. What do you think? Ooh. A spell of silence. The attending nobles look amidst each other, amongst each other, trying to comprehend what purpose lies within the words. The only sound, the scratching of the transcriber's pen, that freezes too a few short seconds later, hung in, a, hung in the atmosphere. The first to break the silence is a pencil as it carelessly clatters to the ground, alongside a stunned gasp from an unknown, uh, from an unknown somewhat. Immediately, Consciously, a low number of numbers of discussions arise one after another, as if a pan of rusty and a lowly heated all oil. I can't breathe. Oh my god. <laughs> hmm. We're getting your answer, or? Oh no, sis! Look! It's that man from the. Adol Vices! Is that how you pronounce it? I think I got that right this time, right? And knows this Kerr has the nerve to show his face here. I spit on him. Hmm. Good word. He's turned this way. <sighs> See the look in his eyes? Heaven knows why Mr. Anciotis ever gave him such great responsibility. When his parents clearly plotted... <sighs> Shush it now. You'll anger Kyogan if you speak of these things to help Kalarilan. Though you have to admit, his happy days are at an end. Mr. Anciotis obviously couldn't tolerate his conduct on one second longer. To the perfect- Hey, Hell yeah! Really? Did Mr. Anciotis finally pull him from his post? Yes, didn't you know? At the council last month, you removed him from his office on the spot. He's already out then. That's wonderful. His number was long up. Hmm. Sir Nozis. I've warned that we should not converse on these occasions. Yes, my apologies. Only, I received an urgent message. The train carrying Rhode Island's delegation is almost at Carlin's foot already. You had some in interest in this company. Do you want to go meet them? The Snow Realm has reached a major juncture. If they are external forces that have been drawn in, then I'll naturally meet them when the time comes. No need to go off out of my way. 
Besides, I'm merely an employee of information now. What position do I have as, to, as pretext to meet them? Sure. It really was disappointing to see how Enciotis acted, ejecting you as a figurehead just to appease the other two clans. Appease? Enciotis' thoughts are by no means as simple as that. I've heard Rhodes Island really did succeed in slowly, uh, in slowly the acceleration of, uh, NC's Aripathy. Yes. Hmm. Then they do, in fact, have the resources to win Silver Ash's favor. But the attention of the Enciotis is both a blessing and a curse. No easy judgments yet. You mean... There was no extraneous meaning to what I said. Anyhow, presumably those in the company must have applauded and cheered. The same way those two uh... How do you pronounce that word and what does it mean? They just now hearing I was gone. None of them understand your worth, Cernosis. Using the word worth to describe a person implies that person can be weighed. Sir... By now, Enciodi should have proposed his idea for the saint ass to lead the tri council. The meeting hall, at this moment, should be utter chaos. Enciodi is in the end. This is the step you took after all. You're the one who understands Enciodi the most. Only you can stand in the way of his ambitions. Hmm. Much words. I look right. These are all intellectuals and I'm not here. <laughs> the, the disappointment to my family that I am. <laughs> not understanding half the things they're saying because it all goes over my head. Hmm. The wind's picked up. It's going to snow. Hmm. The mass of snowflakes sticks, uh, sticks against us his shoulder, only for the frigid wind to pit pitilessly immediately blow it off. Chaotic snowstorms are far from rare. They only need the clouds to gather thick enough, waiting just for a turning point. A dilentante is someone who is an amateur in a lot of areas. Oh, that's that's me! I'm that! I'm that thing that I just said that I don't ever pronounce. Yeah! <laughs> Um, and once the equilibrium of the air that has supported these clouds and smashed, and loses its racing power. Hmm. Does NCOD seriously mean for the same death to become Kiarik's queen? Impossible. This is NCODs we're talking about. But he seemed serious about those ideas he spotted just now. No matter how you put it, think how incredible it'd be if Kiarik could un unite under the same test's leadership. Kyrgander's land really should return to the Kyrgander. The whispers amongst the, uh, amongst the bystanders come together. And momentarily, the roar of the wind outside the window is covered by the voices. Hmm. And Siodis, do you have any idea what you're saying? I'm clear as could be. Let us lay everything out in the open. I originally held that, so long as results were held, had, and the Silvash's sincerity was clear to you all. We would discard your prejudices and, not, and hand in hand with me, we can act forward. A uh, less than amateur, it's more it's basically called a peanut. What's a peanut gallery? They're interest, invested in some topic without not, not much of any actual knowledge about it. So ignorant Karens. I mean, I know nothing about anything, so that's basically me. Well, I've never heard the phrase peanut gallery before. I kind of like that. <laughs> Assuming it means what I think it- what, what you seem to- yeah, like, a bunch of dumb people. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm- I am, like, unfathomably stupid, so... I- I think I fit in. Um... If the three clans could act together, then regardless of any difference in earnings... A country stands upon foreign trade versus a company stands upon foreign trade are completely divorced com concepts. And the results obtained will be a world apart. Maybe my pace is too fast. Common phrase with peanut gallery? Is it really a common phrase? What? I've never heard it before. Is it like an American thing or... I need to lose it. Wait, peanut gallery. Peanut gallery meaning? Oh, it's not. Yeah, it's North American. It's North American. That's why, that's why I haven't heard of it. Uh... Maybe my pace is too fast. And led you to believe instead I was planning to submissively hand the care to outsiders. Are you Canadian? Yeah, this is North American, so I'm British. Despite my accent, I would have you believe I am. I am. I've only ever lived in the UK, so I. Uh, <laughs> I do not. I've never heard that before. Um, as if you weren't Enciodis. Carl is not your theater to act in. Kiergander will punish you for every lie you've spewed. In that case, the Carlin still permits you to stand here is my greatest proof. 
Leave it at that. I know full well I can't change your thinking, but I don't plan to alter Carlin Trade policy because of your short-sightedness either. Carlin Trade values Kiarag's mines and factories, but they aren't the totality of the company. Letting them bring the company to stasis is far less worth it to me. Uh, if we let an eye for an eye go any further, then in the long run we'll spend excessive, excessive energy on un un uniting- I cannot read- <laughs> Uniting our views! And we'll have given outside threats a chance to hijack. Like you, this is in no way what I want. Therefore, I ultimately resolve to hand over all executive power to the Saint S. It will be for the Saint S to determine. I can accept this arrangement, and I believe all present, all, all present can too. Heap of nonsense. Who would believe words like these from someone trampling on the faith of Kyrgandir? Trampling? I know that's how you see it. Many harbor prejudice towards the change Kylan trade has brought. But labor is the very foundation on which Kyrgandir was stood. Forget not that should they still have more good uh, the Vantos people pass on, pass on kneeling in prayer to Kyrlan. And if things are busy, they certainly do not take their monthly visit to Kyrlan to hear the teachings. And Siodis. Pulling some hemp visits from like this isn't one bit persuasive. What next? Are you going to say that everything you've done to Carlin is by Kyrgander's counsel? Kyrgander. Page 1, line 1. Her tears with the ice eternally unmelting. Her back the unbreaking mountain. Her breath the cold warm of winter. Her smile the warm light of spring. When she awakes, shall the mountain summon her. And the sky cast down lustrous spectra. No one has ever said that the holy mount can truly stand for her. And Carlin's uniqueness is owed to, owed to the Vinder Court being situated on it. If you do not speak from harm of the Vinder Court's interests, I'll readily concede that. Besides, I brought my full good faith. And in addition, those who toil who will hold power, and those who idle will suffer. I've never gone against her teachings. Utter, utter tripe. <laughs> <laughs> the Vinder Court is carrying on his representative upon this land, and the Saint Death of the Vinder Court and her Terran speaker. How do you think you can change this with a few more utterances? The Elder, will the Vine Bear Court suffer these wild lies? Naturally, I have to protest what Miss Yansiodi says. However, day in and day out, the scholars wage countless disputes over interpretations of her words. The Vine Bear Court is not a place of outlaw descent by any means. Who is right and who is wrong? Far be it from you or me to have the final say, Arctots. Page 3, line 5. Has he written as he memorized this entire book? <laughs> hmm. It's so really like, uh, Antiodes, Antia, and Anya, though. Uh, you like Antia and Anya, though. Antia's been your assistant for, like, two years. Ooh. I like Silver Ash's voice. I think he's cool. I, admittedly, I feel like I'm lacking in a lot of knowledge for this, but I'm still enjoying it anyway. In the beginning, Kiarag had but one untamed settlement. So until she lifted her head from the amidst the mountains. This time, following Antiodes' start, some nobles present notably... Uh, begin- Some nobles present notably begin to recite alongside him. Do they memorize this stuff? She became as human and lived in survival of the untamed. Yet they feared her not- might and honored her as divine. More came together at her side, and so was Kyrag born, and she its first ruler. Under her guidance, did Kyrag flourish and thrive in bountifulness. Our thoughts tell me, what does page 321 line 1 say? After she helped- Why do they know this stuff from memory? How do they know this? What? I mean, she held the kingdom for three centuries. There came one sudden day when she passed the ruler's title to her helper and vanished amidst the blizzard. This is according to the Bible in him. Yeah, but like he's giving it page by page, right? Henceforth, Kiag was given into the people's hands. Everyone, we are all of Kiag, and they're all her people. It is exactly as I said before. If there is someone able to determine how we should proceed, then it is not, not I, nor you, nor Radados. This is someone must be her speaker, the Saint S. That we do not, uh, that we do not trust each other won't matter. There are no those about the memorizing the entire thing being young age, probably, but still. I mean, only the Bible part if Gladys wrote it. Okay, well, shush, but. <laughs> I, I can recite Gladys' voice lines, but I, 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 that's not the same as memorizing the entire book and the page they are from at the same time, right? The same thing will determine for us and show us towards the future. Or do you mean to admit, somehow, that you don't trust the Saint S to make the fairest ruling? You don't trust your speaker upon the land? In an instant, the attention of every noble there focuses on the Arctots. You! Antiodes, how dare you! Hmm. Antiodes, if you're hoping this level of provo provocation will rouse any reaction in us, then that's far too disappointing of you. The Saint S was born a Silver Ash, that we all know. But her character is equivalently common knowledge. 
She is still Karak Saint S. The moment she received the glory and duty of the Kyagander, the people of Karak have been witness to every move, uh, every, every, her every word in action. What did we move from? Her conduct has been impartial ever since she took up the title. As things stand, how can we be skeptical of her simply for a common birth? It's like you just said, Kyagander was born of heart and resolved to give Karak's future to her people. But you, you and Siodis, choosing only now after all this time to bring up Kyagander, expanding on her virtue and benevolence, is that not out of some ulterior motive? Really? You were the one disrespecting the Saint Ass and Siodis, coming in with uh, sophistry to coerce and take advantage of her people. So grave accusation, uh, accusation Matos. Far greater than your criticisms of Carl and Trade. Seems our continuing this discussion further will only add to the maelstrom of conjecture. This is... These words are so long. Given so, we may as well ask the Saint Ass to come here. And we'll set things straight in front of her. No objections. With all, these, with all th three claim clans gathered here, I expect there won't be any room for your tricks. Well then, in the interest of fairness, may we trouble the Great Elder in our humble request to the Saint Ass. So be it. I'll go ask her. Ex exercise patience, please. All of this. All of this is going over my head. <laughs> I think we might be snowing outside. What's so strange about that? The snow never stops falling on this mountain. Something's different. So, and Siodis proposes the three families had their power to me. For me to decide Karak's future. Indeed, wait, is she the same us? What do you think about Anya? I... Argument, uh, over land and agree to leave it up to Jesus. Yeah, I mean, that's what I've been interpreted so far. It's just, it's just the words they're saying that go over my head. They are all nobles, right? And so they're using big, big, scary noble words. And I'm sitting here with the peasant that I am. Uh, the, the British peasant that I am to make it even worse. Unable to determine what it is they're actually saying because it's all just fluff. <laughs> well, met great elder. A uh, great elder. That's something Jesus won't like the Pope. Well, it's the, it's, it's Jesus through the Pope, right? <laughs> I know if this stuff works! And yeah, here you are. I imagine you've probably heard about the Assembly's Affairs. Do you mean the Chancellor of Power? Yes, I already know. There's been progress then. Do you come for me now? He never since you were little, young one. It's reached the point where the clan's views clash like fire and water. I'm not passionate. Yeah, I'm not posh enough to understand. Before this council convened, Suresh gave me a hint or two. That under the current situation, the planning suggests may well de-escalate. De Seems you don't approve of my actions last council after all, Great Elder. Anya, oh Anya. Come, child. Look outside. Could you know the years it took for the frost and snow to finally cover these mountains? Could you know how many years had to pass for us to have this pure and holy summit where we stand? I understand. But her tears are the ice eternally unmelting. Her back the unbreaking mountain. Her breath the cold wind of winter. Her smile the warm light of spring. Everything was Kyrgander's gift. But why must Kyrgander's people still fear the blizzard? In that respect, you and him do seem alike. You're different, too. Um, pardon me? Have you seen my lord very Britishly? Oh, uh, I gotta get into the accent, right? I gotta get into the, the British accent for this. Um, is it like my, my lord? <laughs> I just think of, um, what's it called? Uh, I just think of Black Butler whenever I hear that word. <laughs> Which is like the only anime that I actually watched in full. Hmm. And he's a humble British playing with muds. No business with, with holy- This holier than now speaks, yep. I am- I am sitting in the garden. In my little sandbox, just kind of smashing dirt together. I'm stuck in the, uh... I'm stuck in- I'm stuck in this accent now, goddammit. <laughs> no, I'm British now! Oh, uh, nothing. It's no man thinking loud. What you say is correct, Saint S. You spent all your time atop the summit. And the mountain... I'm stuck in the accent. <laughs> like, me, me lord... Well, I don't really say me lord, I guess. Do you mean, like, my lord? I don't know. It's... it's I just... I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you spent all your time up this mountain, top the summit. Mountains are bound to kick on spirit, speaker and turn. Do you think summer is quite right? However, in the snow this great, built up over, over so many, I'm stuck in the accent now. How many of Kigana's people would be buried should it ever collapse? To me, 
Carrick's peace of mind has always come first and foremost. I trust Senta. I try I'm st <laughs> It's the horn accent too, right? <laughs> I trust Saint Tess that you are the same. Hmm, it's about time. The three are still in the hall awaiting you. You cannot appear too soon. But I wouldn't advise you to be too late either. Now is the perfect time. I I need to get back into America. I just sound like horn again. There we go, there we go, there we go. <laughs> I just sound like Horde! <laughs> uh, may you both come this way, please. Can I say in it? I, I do. I, I I mean, I can say it, but I, I do say it. Um, Ironically, but I do say it. Alright. In it. <laughs> uh, Karak's peace of mind. Letting the snow carry on building underfoot without a place for us to clear away. Will that be peace for Karak? Kyrgandir, I pray. What's over your people? <laughs> there you go. The same death arrives. It's just the thing. I, I do genuinely say in it, though. I say it as like a joke, but I do say it. In the wake of the blizzard sweeping the mountain, the clear, sharp bell strokes uh, comes from the heavens to the ears of Kyrgandir's people. When she passes, no noble fails to stand, offering the most formal etiquette. Uh, it's chanting the most devout prayer. Now, the scenes do look really pretty. It makes me want to go outside more, honestly. I said this before, right? In the past, like, month, I've been out three times. Which doesn't sound like a lot, but it's, like, way more than... I think I... I like, I can't... I... I haven't done that before in, like, years, right? <laughs> three times in one month is... Probably the most frequently I've gone out. In, like, in, like, is it in years? Which is, it's, it, it's just, yeah, it, it's, it's... Just more progress, right? <laughs> but I, I wanna go, I wanna like, I wanna take it to the next step. I wanna go out, like, and visit different places and stuff. And seeing cool stuff in, Ar in Arcanites genuinely makes me wanna go outside and, uh, and, like... The ideal city event, maybe you wanna go and touch grass. Like, actually, you wanna go and touch grass, so... <laughs> I don't know, seeing all the pretty art makes you wanna go and visit, like, cool places. Mm-hmm. Let's my chest piece, the horsey! I love the horsey. I like, I like the way they move. They move in a little L. If not the hoisty, it's the funny guy, the funny, the funny guy that's like next. It's, it's like, uh, the funny guy goes with diagonally. I like the diagonal, I like the hoisty. Diagonal, I, I like the way it moves. I like the horsey for the way that it, it looks and the way it moves. It's still like evolving into becoming functional. I mean, I still can't talk to people. I always go, like, um, a bit less on the bishop, yeah, yeah. I always, like, go out with my family, so I don't have to actually talk to anyone. They do the talking for me. Because I'm too scared to, uh, talk to anyone at all, but, like, I, I'm still proud of myself, right? <laughs> I'm going outside to do things! Mm hmm. I'll fast and still fall into it by your will. I'm bringing to Kiara blessings. Nine bishop. Yeah, well, I just called the horsey. Calling in the night is, is too, uh, too formal. Nah, it's the horsey. St. Dad's, it's been long. With your lit litany of occupations, you've neglected worship, Sir Anciades. It truly has been long. Your quest and investigation of the valleys and mines prior, Saint S. I could not, of course, neglect that. I nearly only quiz the night horsey. Yeah! The horsey is the, 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 uh... What's the word? The... Um... What's the word for, like, proper? But it's not proper. It means, like... It's not official either. It's like a technical word, right? I guess you could say horsey is a technical term, yeah. Horsey is a technical term for it. <laughs> Once on this settled and done with, I'll personally lead a procession and worship the Carlan. Your faith in Kiragandu is apparent throughout. Why are we so elaborate proving it? That's a fine jest, Great Saint Us. I hear a sister of yours has come back to Kiragand. You're well informed, Saint Us. She should be on the path to Carlan with, with an honored guest at this very moment. The fun to taste the best has all the flavor, but the king has uh, a one of a kind flavor. <laughs> I don't know, I still like the horsey. Mm -mm. A guest. Indeed, up until now, my sister's been receiving treatment at a medical firm called Rhodes Island for her empathy. For the coming grand ceremony, I invited one of said firm's uh, leaders to visit Kiag as a gesture of thanks. You can't much for your sister, Sir Anciotis. Truly, it's admirable. You flatter me, Sandus. I presume you already know of my proposal. What do you think of it? What are Sir Arctots and Lady Ratatos' considerations? Aye, Arctots and my faith in Kerrigan is visible to all. Uh, say that 
See, they're not really having the same desk with the Reddit mediator of the three clans. Hold it, Arxots! <laughs> I can have my position as a head to her. And what shame would it be? And you, Lady Ratatos. Who could possibly say no in this moment? Who would dare say no in this moment? For the Great Saint Test to be the arbitrator of the three clans in this present situation is indeed the best option. I understand. The three clans, he uh, three clans heads all submit to this and are willing to entrust themselves to me. I shall... Respond in kind to all and assume the duty of guiding Kirag. Hey, Crisis of... Everyone's all getting along very well. Nice. Good for them. That was only one stage? Let's head back. Wait! Maybe next time. That was only one stage? It's been an hour! Oh no! How much is this gonna get? What's seven times five thousand? That's... Thirty... Thirty... Thirty-five... Thirty three, three, three zeros at the end. Thirty-four thousand? I know maths. A little novel in this event? Eight hour stream. I, don't, I, I literally cannot stream eight hours because I'm contracted. I am contractually obligated to do a uh, a stream later today. I, I cannot stream for eight hours as much as I genuinely want to. Oh, wait, wait, there's a thing there. There's a thing there. I saw a thing. I saw a thing. Thing! Aha. <laughs> like, where's the, there's the. There's the monies. I'm buying on the first. Because I need it. How much do I have now? Okay. So it's shorter than the because you believe this was longer than it. Oh, it's an entire- Okay, it's an entire story note! It's gonna take the next hour to read it! Play the stage in the next stage? It's been 1 out of 20 minutes, we did one stage. Yeah, it's, we did- We did the tutorial too. Now this is settled, the three clans will start, uh, start liaising frequently with one another. We must further discuss the specific of the transfer of powers to the Saint S and what powers each family is allowed to keep. There are three story notes! <laughs> Buying LD immediately after having currency? It's because I'm trying to level up, um, Scotty, right? I need enough to E2 her, so I'm trying to get 280k, is it? For the, uh, the E2? Uh, how are we signing this? For the preparations the three of us must make uh, of the ritual are equally important. Therefore, with the upcoming ceremony, I propose we seize the occasion and transfer our powers to the same task at the same time. The ceremony and the transfer of powers are managed by different individuals. As such, both can be conducted at the same time. What's more, the ceremony also calls for the participation of the clan leaders. What do you think of the idea, if I may so ask? The decision has been made. It will happen in due course. <sighs> this year's ceremony will also be a ceremony for the transfer of powers to the St. Ass, huh? Guess you have something to look forward to. In that case, I'll have my men draft the relevant documents and distribute them across Kiarag. I'm sure the masses will re be rejoiced to learn of this. Wait. Is something the matter? You can't hoodwink your way out of this, Sensiotis. Who will manage the valleys and the mines in the next few days? Mrs. was in charge, but you hadn't fired. Who will take care of all that? You need to worry, Arctots. I hired an expert from outside Kerag. This expert will conduct a few of the investigation on the valleys. Uh, and the valley in the mine from a disease prevention perspective and construct a medical facility within Silvash territory. I'll put this person in complete control of the two areas. <laughs> oh god. For this, it really is not long, just bigger words. Yeah, long words. Very big words. E2 must cost for six hours. Yeah, 180k. So I'm trying to get to 180k to uh, E2. Um, Scotty. Um, There's 52,000 words! There's about 160 standard book pages. I mean, in fairness, I've read fanfics that are 10 times the length of that, but still. Uh, look at the time. The change should be arriving in Carlin right about now. If you two would like to meet the expert, you only need to wait a short, short, short moment longer. Enough of this nonsense! I've no idea who you hired and what you were planning with this medical charade. However, this so-called expert of yours will stay within my sight at all times. This is my guest you're talking about, Arctots. It's exactly why, Enciotis. You said the over uh, overmining was Gnosis' doing, and I couldn't care less whether that's the case or not. The way I see it, anyone you hire might as well be another Gnosis. We may be rid of one, but there'll always be more. You want to leave your men in charge of the place? Fine, but you'll have to show this me what this expert's capable of. If your expert does well, then not only will they be your guests, Enziotis, I vow to welcome them with my warmest hospitality as my own guest. What's the matter? You were talking so big. 
Do you really need much, so much time to think? If everything is as you said, what is there to hesitate about? Or do you mean to tell us this person you hired is indeed another Gnosis here to do your dirty work again? Pell riches have always been in charge of the Vine Bear Court's security. Now that I've agreed to turn these lens over into the court, I cannot be more impressed. I can't be more reassured with the Pell Pel riches looking after them. I can't read. Right there, I said my Emmy with some while studying. I, I, I hope it's good to listen to. I mean, I'm doing a bad job reading it. I'm messing up all the words, but if it's uh, good to listen to, then I'm glad. <laughs> that said, a word of advice, Sark thoughts. You best be careful. Entertaining this guest of ours will never no walk in the park. <laughs> Not a problem. There are no guests we power just cannot entertain. I'm thinking of Palicos again. I'm thinking of the 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 Palicos and Palamutes from Monster Hunter. I, I, Monster Hunter's ruined my brain. I haven't played it in years. Now let's find out whether this guest is still as, as, as stiff necked as you. Uh, Cirrus, I need to, uh I need you to look into this guest. Have me on your errands again. I'm not in the mood for your sharp tongue. <sighs> Munch, Munch, Munch here. Ah, oh, she's so cute. Seeing so like fully, uh, fully. This is a drone. I love her. I love her twin tails. Get me a car. Of course, you can. Is it safe to drive a car in snowy mountains like this? Should be Monhan. I used to play Monster Hunter quite a bit. Um, I used to play Monster Hunter World. I was terrible at it. Uh, and I really sucked, but I did play quite a bit. Uh, <laughs> I played Monster Hunter Rise once on stream. I have no memory of it. I just know that I did do it, and I can't remember anything else. But yeah. Mm -mm. Uh, you can't go. Uh, please watch your step, madame. That's how people do it anyway. Yeah, it doesn't seem safe to drive a car on snowy mountains with no roads. Um, Velice, what's your view on all this? I'm afraid I'm not capable enough to see Enciodi's intent. Don't blame you, but I certainly didn't expect that crafty woman Raditos to agree to it. I don't get it. It's Meteor Kratitos. I'm sure he, she has her ideas. All I know is that Silver Ash Brat is <laughs> replanning something. And he may sound like he has a point, but I will never believe anything he says so easily. Tell Gula to invite Enciodis' guest over. We'll figure out what to do later. Yes, sir. Hmm. You just have snow treads, you'd be fine? Or they had cars designed with that, with, that, with that in mind from the start? Okay. Man, I didn't expect it starts snowing the moment we got off the train. Doctor, let's wait till it stops before we head up the mountain. The snowball fight! Who's in? I've not had a snowball fight in years. I really want to go outside when it snows. I haven't seen snow in ages though. Hmm? Actually, that sounds like fun. Thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you. Snow is soft, sounds perfectly safe to you. No, like snow is snow soft. Snow is soft. When you compress it, it's no longer soft. Me. The second you start compressing snow, it becomes like it becomes like really slippery, right? Compact snow is really dangerous to like, drive on. I think again, I'm not okay. Confession: I cannot be trusted to drive. I don't have a driver's license. I should not be in a car in the driver's seat. I would kill everyone inside within seconds before even starting the, starting the engine. Um, like driving up hills in in snow and like ice and stuff. If it's like really cold, it's just gonna be a slip and slide. Especially if like most people drive on it as well. Yeah, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. No, it's safe. You live in a house, do you know? Yeah, but like, in the UK, uh, we we have big issues with snow. Like, it's not that like um, we don't get much of it, but we do. If it's a little bit, our infrastructure is not is not designed to handle that. So even the littlest bit of snow will screw everything over. Um, <laughs> in fact, I was once in a bus when it snowed so much. Um, that like, we all had to get out of the bus. And I was like, I was like a baby shrimp at this point. I, it was like really, really, really tiny. But I had to get out of the bus and push it up the hill. Cause, um, cause of the snow. <laughs> um, driving on snow isn't fun. Okay, let's change into America. Let's start drifting with not a fun way. Yeah. So my sinister story taking even longer. Ah, it's like you distracted. <laughs> Look, I, I will finish it eventually, but. Yeah, the UK infrastructure is like not designed for. We don't. It's okay, right? 
We're not designed for heat. We're not designed for snow. We're designed for like moderate temperatures and that's it. And if it goes either like a little bit above average or a little bit below average, we're, we're screwed. I was gonna say we're, yeah, I'm not gonna swear. I'm a good trip. <laughs> we are screwed. <laughs> uh, we still have a long way to go. Just say my strength. <laughs> it's kind of a pain to get to Carline right now. I hope the train will take us all the way to the foot of the mountain uh, one day. We may call this the Kylan Railway, but there is actually a stretch of distance from the station to the foot of the mountain. Uh, we aren't allowed to build anything. Um, so this could be sounds like it's gonna be difficult then. There's a lot of resistance to the idea. I'm not too sure about this stuff, but I don't think it's going to be easy. A lot of the people here insist on walking every single step of Mount, uh, Mount Carlin. Thinking to do otherwise would be unfaithful, but I don't think Kerrigan would mind. We Kerrig folk always keep faith in our hearts. How would taking a train straight to the mountain change any of that? Sir so, Antiotis has always wanted to have the railway go straight to Carlin. Alas, the lands of the head belong to the Pearl Roaches. So Arctos would never let him build any tracks there. Half a year ago, there was even a bit of tussle between General Gulo of the Prowler Roaches and Gnosis. With Gnosis? Oh, right. I haven't heard anything about him for a, for a while. Is he doing okay? He... He was fired because of that scuffle. One of the reasons Sir Antiotis invited the doctor here is because he wanted the doctor to fill his role. Huh? How come no one told me that? Doctor, did anyone... Ooh. Hi! Hello! This is- they don't seem very friendly. What's the matter? Who are you people? These guys definitely don't seem friendly. Lady Antia, get behind me! Hey, what about me? On Sarctot's orders, I'm here to extend the Silver Ashes guest, uh, Evie, an invitation to Arcstot's- yeah, to the Arcstot's estate. You're bringing all these soldiers along to invite our guests to your place? What kind of sick joke is this? This place belongs to my family, the Silver Ashes. General Gulo, you may work for the Palarachs, but I suggest you don't do anything out of line. See so you're here as well, Lady Ancia. You'll have to pardon me for my intrusion. I'll cut to the chase. Dr. MV is Silver Ashes' guest. Yes, I am. <laughs> and you're not bringing anyone along your way home. Uh, not on my watch. Hmm. Relax, Lady Ancia. So I thought only wanted to invite the esteemed guest to pay our humble abode visit. As if my brother would agree to something that unreasonable. Not to worry, Lady Ancia. Your brother, Sir Antionis, has already given us his approval. No way. It's true. Also, Lady Ancia, uh, mention the ownership of the land here. This isn't Silver Ash territory anymore. From now on, the land belongs to the Vine Bear Court. Come again? No! <laughs> I'm not gonna... <laughs> Why is this the meaning of this? First is the reason the doctor was invited here. Then it's the ownership of the lands. What else are you giving from me? Sorry, Lady Ancia. Lies, come on, what's happening? Which one of you is Abby? Uh, me. Me, I'm Abby. It's... it's him. <laughs> no, it's me. The one in the hood, right. It's you. <gasps> <sighs> Wait. You say so. Don't move! Hands up your weapons! Last warning, no funny moves! Eh, it will look yes, right? This may have, you don't seem very happy at our arrangement. Know your place, outsider. So Octots gave you an invitation. Most people are never so lucky. You dare act so impudent, knowing that an esteemed guest who stands knowing that's an esteemed guest who stands before you. Huh? You hear footsteps accompanied by dull meta metallic clanking sounds. An impressively tall woman walks toward you. Hmm? Immediately, everything falls silent. The carrying soldiers surrounding you put away their weapons and step aside with timid looks on their faces. She takes a quick glance at all of you, briefly pausing as her gaze lands on the elite up upright standing next to you. The moment their eyes meet, they put their hands on the weapons by pure instinct. Oh! Hi! Hi! Hello there! <laughs> she looks really cool! <laughs> I love her design! I assume you do whatever it takes to get to this doctor to pay your visit today. We have our orders, and Sir Antiotis gave us his approval. You shouldn't have a problem with that. Relax, I'm not here for you. 
Lady Ancia. And Sandy has asked me to escort you home. Uh, how do you pronounce this? Is it like Dagen? Dagen Brecker? Uh, did my brother really. Correct. I'm here to receive our guest for Anciotis. I've done that now. And you'll have me go to these guys straight away. That's right. Oh, Dagen Brecker? Okay, cool. Please go on. Looks like Sansiotis is so busy that he doesn't have the time to come fetch the doctor himself. Correct. Put you up and down. I would rather not offend our guest bodyguard in any way. It's part of my job to carry a weapon at all times. And you're not my boss. <laughs> Enough sharp, no bloodshed here. I'm the doctor's bodyguard. Wherever the doctor goes, I go. My instructions to it. Well, can, I, can, I, can, I, can I, can I, like, can I petition for a different bodyguard, please? Is it currently. Okay, uh, wait. Is it, uh. Dagen Brecker? Okay. Um. It's not the Gen. It's not. <laughs> it's the Gen Brecker. Oh, okay, Dagen Brecker. Cool. Uh. Yeah, can I. Can I get like. Can I get different bodyguards? I want. I want. Oh, um, mine to be a bodyguard, please. Thank you. <laughs> my chicks didn't the doctor. The doctor would. It's okay, Sharp. You go stand by somewhere else. You say so. Doctor, are you seriously going? <laughs> Hell yeah, this sounds like fun. <laughs> Doctor, stop grinning. You're reminding me of my brother. Why are you going along with this? I don't get it. Eh, funny. Why not? Gulo. You'd do well to train our guests better than that. <laughs> say please. Doctor of Rhodes Island. Please follow us to the Palarosha State. A black knight is so unmattered. Oh? Oh, it's... Okay. Please interview the Casimir's major. Well, if anyone who need not use arts, just name sells legs in Casimir's. Okay, well, I don't... I, I do not recognize, so... Uh, I'll say just... I'll just say three-time champion of Casimir's major. Hmm. I'm just sending you to use bodyguard. Give him my regards. I will. Lead the way. Looks like I'm working overtime again. Uh. <laughs> Breaking news! Did you read Near Light, right? I did not uh, read Near Light. I skipped it because I was like, ah, oh, damn, too much reading. <laughs> the Titan Council and Jessica did. The Vine Bear Court and the clans have come to a shocking understanding regarding the Carlin Mining question. Resolve the differences between the families and to better drive Karag's development. The clans have all agreed to turn portions of their authority over to the Saintess. The accordance of the teachings of Karagandir. Karagandir! Oh, uh, every time. It is in It is just every single time. Move over! The clans of. <laughs> you can't. Move over! The clans have all agreed to place the Saintess in a role as leader in terms of Ka uh, leading Karag toward the better tomorrow. Oh. Anciotis! You're home, Ancia. A towered form, my dear sister. Anciotis, what? Slow down. It's really, he's got a smug smile on his face, damn it. Why did you the doctor go to the pallet roaches? I need the doctor to carry some of Gnosis' responsibilities for me. And as you know, the relationship between Carl and Trade and the pallet roaches has been tense. Alright, Arctos demands the doctor operate under his supervision. It's a reasonable ask. Why didn't you tell the doctor? Not even I knew about this arrangement. It happened after I had the invitation sent out. But still! I know Rhodes Island saved you, and I know you, th you think very highly of the doctor. Trust me, Ancia. I think I think the doctor knows highly than you do. If the doctor comes to harm there, the Palaroches will pay the price. No, Anciotis. I'm not just a silver ash. I'm an employee of Rhodes Island. I have a responsibility to ensure the doctor's safety. It feels good to be the main character. <laughs> Leave, leave that to me. You've grown up, Ancia. Let's do this then, Matterhorn. Sure. Have someone keep an eye on what's going on. What's, go what's going? What's, what's going? What's going happening? That's not a phrase. What's going? What's happening over there? What's going on over there? 
As soon as the doctor begins work in the valleys and mines, you may take NCO to see the doctor. Very good, sir. NCO, please. Go, NCO, rest well. All right. Hmm. So this feels good to be MC, yeah, yeah, yeah. Master, about the doctor. How to go in? Make sure NCO is safe. I, I will. It's useless, you know. She isn't the kind of girl we can keep inside the house. I'll keep an eye on her. I need you on standby. So be it then. Speaking of which, how much do you know about this doctor of Rhodes Island? An excellent scholar of outstanding professionalism who understands the profits the Rhodes Island will see from the working with me. Oh, cool. I'm glad he's, he's really thinks about money. And I'll just, just imagine what these lattice work on Sebastian's cool. Oh, yeah, this stuff? Looks really cool. The doctor so quickly got the grasp of the situation and accepted the arrangement shows that I was correct in my assessment. What do you ask? I don't think this doctor is merely a scholar. Great is living things out, no doubt, and much more th so than you expected, too. And besides, this doctor sends you regards. <laughs> You'll <a> profit. Siri! <laughs> he, he has money on the brain. Hmm. You think Dr. Fush saw all this? I sense not a bit of surprise under that hood. Not only did the scholar of yours understand the situation completely, there was never even a hint of astonishment, and I must emphasize that. That's more. Apparently my reputation precedes me. Looks like our friend came prepared. Huh. Trust my intuition, Antiotis. I have an eye for people. You might have made yourself an enemy with this move of yours. An enemy? No, if the intel I gathered in your description are correct, the doctor will become my dearest friend. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> yes, please! What should I say? I'll become the doctor's dearest friend. Yes, please! Oh, uh, Serenity, it's time for your mini. Let's go. Hey, no sis! What's Gnosis doing here? He never showed his face at meetings like this. I heard the one they hired to clean up his mess is finally here. I bet he couldn't bear with the shame any longer and came to beg the boss for, mer for mercy. Haven't you heard? Gnosis' replacement was taken away by pa the Palaroaches. Wait, I see it. He's here to try his luck, thinking he's still got a chance. <laughs> she really reached for it in a monkey though, so I just wanted to be a friend. Look, not many people say they want to be my friend, okay? Not many people at all. So, not only am I getting a friend, I'm getting Silas as a friend. That is absolutely a win, and I see- I- I'm happy. I'm happy. Mm-mm. Possible. There's no chance at all. No sits quietly in the conference room. Everyone sits far away from him, but their gossip echoes through the room. Clear as day. No sis, it's been a while. You've lost weight! <laughs> Thanks to you, Mr. President. We spent four years in Victoria together. It pains me to see things turn out this way. And Ciodius, you've thrown me under the bus already. Let's get the pleasantries. That fact an operator who shall remain nameless has tried to unalive themselves over a thousand times. Due to guilt and such. Good luck finding out who it is. No, you can't just hit me with that! <laughs> Thank you so much, Mr. Beef, Super Chat. Thank you so, 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 so much. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you! I... Man! I don't want... I don't want to shed! <laughs> Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. That's that's mean. Oh God. Right. I don't know. I, is, is, is this story gonna like? Hmm. I have no clue who it could be. But I don't like the thought. Bad. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. Doctor must continue this rash blood flight. I've seen that meme uh a lot. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> lovers to enemies to lovers again, yeah. Enemies to lovers, uh, part. Mm. Gnosis, you prick! <laughs> oh god, Gnosis, you prick! Don't you know who you're talking to? That's such a British insult. If it wasn't for your friendship with the president, you wouldn't even be allowed to stand here now that you're sacked. I don't remember needing anyone's permission to stand here. How dare you! Gnosis, there's no doubt that Carlin Trade owns much to you for its establishment and growth. However, whether you have a right to be here or not, that is not for you to say. Uncle Chester, please. Very well. First, regarding the sentencing of Carlin's Trade's former chief technical officer, knows his, uh, Edelweiss, 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 right? 
Uh, there's no doubt the expansion of the valleys and mines under Gnosis is I Gnosis Idol Vice's management is brought the company tremendous profit. But on the other hand, the rapid extension strategy and the secret mining of Krylon has brought the com company under the reported repeated scrutiny of the Tricon Council. In particular, when the other clans asked to participate in the Valley's investigation, Gnosis planned to ambush the two clans' inspection team. Uh, they childhood friends, technically, so like, Gnosis is, isn't allowed to win Sylvester's heart by anime rules. <laughs> no, no, that means, that means, like, you know, it's childhood friends to enemies to lovers, then, right? Or... Hmm... Uh, this has severely damaged Carl and Trade's image in the Sylvester's standing of the Tricon Council. Therefore, President Enciones has decided that, effective today, Gnosis Idol Vase will be formally terminated as a Carl and Trade employee. So that's why you had me come. You wanna- <laughs> I- I- <laughs> I wouldn't be laughing if it weren't for, if it weren't for the, 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 the place name. I wouldn't be laughing if it weren't for the place name, but now it's just ruined. I- <laughs> You wanted to read all these criticisms you- You <laughs> freaked me out loud in front of everyone. No, it's, it, it's the place name! It's the place name! I just think of the place name again! It's not even anything bad, I just think of the place name! I just think of the... the, the <laughs> Your actions are about how to concentrate profits. That's how I answer stakeholders. I hope you can understand. Very well, NC Odis. I would never have imagined all these years ago when I came to Karak to build this place up with you that this is how it would end. I'll end. I'm sure both of you, uh, both you and I agree this is far more important to do what's reasonable and beneficial than to look back on old times. Are you pleased you so, so much? So, I'm not even, it's not even that I'm laughing at it being dirty. I'm just laughing at it because it reminds me of the place name. The place name sounds funny to me because I'm like, it's not even, okay. I'm laughing at the fact that I found the place name funny. So now every time I see a word that sounds like the place name, I just think of the place name and I laugh because I think it's funny and it's not funny. Uh, that said, I'll leave you to your lab. You're afraid to keep using it as, uh, as soon as any sensitive Carlin trade did, it's been removed. I could also arrange for you to join as a uh, caravan heading for Victoria. That's what you prefer. I have to answer all the stakeholders here. Likewise, I have to give you an answer. If you think what you're doing is reasonable, then I feel nothing but disappointment in you. <laughs> Carlin trade that you need, uh, yet needs a technology. And Kiarik's industri industrial sector has not come so far that it can progress without importing core technologies from the outside world. You promised me a suitably large stage and back to my research, so we can break new ground in these promising snowlands for the welfare of the people of Karag. In the end, this is where my stage is, and I'm being thrown under the bus for this company. I still approve of your achievements in academic research, Gnosis. That is why, more so than anyone, I'm hoping that you could reflect on what you have done. You should never have let things out of my control. <sighs> Are you so weak now that you're scared of letting anything out of your iron grip? That doesn't open my eyes. Oh, a loud bang reverberates throughout the room. Gnosis slams the conference room do door shut with enough force that a gust of winds and were flying through the air. Shocked by the sudden thunderclap, the spectators all instinctively look toward the source of the sound before casting their heads toward down under the invisible pressure. No one knows just what expression and Ciotis holds at this moment. Let's continue, Chester. As requested by Sir Arctots, the leader of Rose Island, Dr. Evie, will be in charge of the transfer of the valleys and mines under the protection of the Palaroches. Don't so has to throw you under a bus. A, a bus, yeah, same. Mm -mm. We will formally introduce the doctor to everyone at the company once all the tasks at hand are complete. On to our next topic, the meat of our meeting today. The preliminary discussion on how to petition the company's power and hand it over to the state test. First off, on the matter of tariffs. Ugh, legal talk. It's, it keeps going. <laughs> uh, what do I call you, outsider? Call me Doctor. Doctor? Sounds just like the scholars over at the, at, at the academy. Doctor, do you know why you're here? I don't. <laughs> and Ciotis wants you to take notes of his place, but I don't trust his people. That's why I'm keeping my eye on you. Uh... And Ciotis is filming the details. I invited you here because I didn't want him to fool you in on anything. <laughs> uh, please, tell, tell I guess the deal. Sir Anthony decided to transfer the valley into the, uh, the mines to the Vine Bear Court. The man who was in charge of the mines at the factory was his subordinate, Gnosis. 
They even say Shia, by the way. Oh yeah, this is literally this is literally just the 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 the, the story note, isn't it? Not even stage two. <gasps> oh. Oh. <laughs> the resistance also was dismissed, and to coordinate the positions been left vacant. According to certain theories, you're his replacement. I see. Looks like you have a clear understanding of the situation now. Until I'm sure that Enceodes isn't making any funny moves in the, in the mines and the valleys, you aren't leaving this place. Don't even think about pulling any tricks yourself. Men don't care about etiquette nearly as much as Enceodes' as people. If they want your head, there's nothing I can do to stop them. <laughs> Boss, look at this squirt. I wouldn't know where to top if I were to try my blade on this midget. Hey! I'm not that short. Don't laugh at me. <laughs> Shut up, all of you! I'm not gonna make things too hard for you, outsider. In the end, you're in Sidonis' guest. As long as you play along, I don't do anything to you. Am I making myself clear? I'm not worried. I'll be like reasonable people to me. Enough, Valet. Shall I guess to the bedroom? Very good, sir. I want to be so big with like, in, in, in Silverash's place. No! Oh, knock at the door. Uh, Enya, I'm coming in. I knew it. You're still sleeping. Anya, Anya, rise and shine. Ugh. Uh, Lauren. <laughs> After a brief fuss, Anya gets dressed and sits in front of her dressing table. Karen naturally stands behind her and combs her hair. Uh, what's the matter now? You know, isn't it a good thing to become leader of all three clans? You always say that in the Vinebear Court, your role is simply to keep the masses club. And most of the time, it's actually the Great Elder who calls the shots. This is an opportunity. I would be so worried if it had been Arctots or even Matatos who brought up the idea. But it was Enciotis who made the proposal. Perhaps the guilt's only gotten to him. I sure hope so. But if you're so worried about this, couldn't you have turned it down? Didn't you agree to it without thinking twice? That's because there wasn't a point to dragging it out. No one had any grounds to object. It doesn't matter whether he really wants me to be Kyarag's leader. There wasn't anyone who could reject the proposal then and there. And if we set aside the uh if we set the issue aside, then people would have found out. You told me the mass has gotten used to peace, just like they've gotten used to the endless snow on the mountains. The people of Kyarag wish for peace first and foremost. And they gravitate towards those who can bring them peace. Right, peace. Whether it's the peace that Teodis brought them or the peace that the Vinebear Court brought. <laughs> That's why, even if I turned down the offer, the people would have asked me to accept. So I might as well take the initiative myself before the Great Elder makes all the arrangements. You think it's Teodis foresaw that? He made a proposal that no one else could refuse. Under normal circumstances, he would have been the last person to suggest this. I'm sure both Arctots and Maritos thought the same thing. Both thought the same thing. I can see why Arctots went along with it, but Maritos. She's never the kind of person to give up easily. What a headache. I really hope Karagan will hear my prayers and teach the Great Elder and the Three Clan Leaders a good lesson. Perhaps she has already heard your prayers, and it just isn't the time yet. Do you want her to take care of Antiotis too? For him, as cool as possible. <laughs> now let's put this necklace on you, and we're done! Mm hmm. Right. Would you give this letter and scarf to Ensia? Also, ask her to come pay the mountain a visit, right? You know me well. <laughs> also, send the word out that I'll be analyzing scriptures today. I don't want to be disturbed. I I need some time to think. Of course. Hmm. After Kara leaves the room, Enya opens a drawer to see an exquisitely decorated vase, holding an eye-catching elegant rock. <laughs> the rock. <laughs> I didn't really. <laughs> I didn't realize the rock was in this game! Man, that's not funny, but... Still, I'm... I'm, I'm finding it funny. Oh, Kyrgyz, please guide me, what should I do? Why is she treating like a, like a magic 8-ball? Like, she shakes the rock and asks the question. We no longer live in times where isolation is enough to keep ourselves out of the affairs around us. In the past hundred years, there have been countless exchanges and conflicts between nations. Colombia rose quickly in a conflict. While well, Gaul, a powerful country, was also like that in conflict. All the world's nations are slowly changing in these times separated by catastrophes. Refusing relations with the others is no longer an option. Kara cannot continue to lock itself away in these snowy mounts. Kyrgyz is protection. If 
Kyogane really exists in the first place, can bring the Snow Realm to fit this far. If we go any further, Kyogane must grow stronger than ever before. The millennium of peace and quiet has reached its end, and we cannot wait for others to open the door for us. Kyogane needs to make contact with the outside world. We must take that step forward while we still have the control. That's still rash tradition. Kyogane must remain Kyag! We still have a chance, but time goes short for the snowy mountains. I have seen our world. I have to make a difference. Everything I've witnessed needs to have meaning. Hmm. So you're Gnosis. That's right. Do you know who I am? Uh, Cirrus. Uh, Cirrus Browntail. Sister of the Browntail clan matriarch. I want to tell us Browntail. You know that. And you have the balls to forgo a salute. <laughs> I didn't think I, I didn't think I'd see people saying this in Arknights, but okay. Why must you salute someone who I have nothing to do with? Want to know the story with you, Envy? You have to know you're not getting bored, hoping to the story. I'm enjoying it, yeah. I'm a, I'm a slow reader, but I'm enjoying it. <laughs> hmm. You! Don't you know your manners? If you must talk manners, you should work on yours first, Sir Sears Brandtail. I heard all your commotion outside the door. What's more, when nobles meet, they must each, uh, each first courtesy to each other, or courtesy to each other, with a carl and bow. If you show up here without affording me any uh, courtesy, why should I show you any? Just how outdated is radio etiquette? Etiquette never dies, it's only slowly forgotten. As a noble, you should feel sorrow in that. The Edelweisses have long been in charge of the management of Kyarag's te uh, te texts and records! I admire your knowledge of Kyarag attitude, uh, etiquette. I can't read, Mr. Nozis. Okay, cool. Still though, I'm afraid Madame Sirius, uh, s s s uh, Sirius, uh, is needed to discuss character etiquette. <laughs> Could you please move on to the main topic? Very well. I'm curious. Considering Madame has refused my ca uh, ca capitulation, why is she not reaching out to me? <laughs> Do you have to ask? It's because your master was hanging, hanging in it. <laughs> We've reached the point of the stream where I start stuttering. Oh God, my stutter is coming in hard. Uh. You have to ask? It's because your master proposed handing his powers over to the same task at the Tricon Council. I see. In that case, go home and tell Raditos. Now that things have come to this, I'm likely not the only one who will cooperate, given the right amount of sincerity. Hmm. Press uh, Arctosid's orders. Please stay here while you are not attending to your duties. If you need to head outside, we will serve as your bodyguards. Kyag may be a safe place, but we cannot guarantee no one will take the chance to uh, cause trouble. You'll be served the finest delicacies that Kyag has to offer. Can I toast? Please, just some just toast. I only want, I only want bread and water. <laughs> you must use anything here as you see fit. All your daily needs will be met during your stay with us. If you require anything, please let the servants know. You may also have them relay anything to me. Very well, I look forward to it. No, I don't, I don't want to eat. I don't want to eat. I want to just eat bread and water. Keep an eye on me whenever I head out, huh? Hmm. Everything comes, uh, consultation. Oh wait, is that a... Thank you, just for me I think it's not, uh, showing up in chat, but... Thank you so much, I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. Everything consultation and the grand ceremony. And those are the only reasons my brother's invited you to the Snow Realm. Oh, the grand ceremony takes place annually in Karag. It's the biggest, uh, I guess it means to say event, but I mistyped it. And the most important thing to the Karag people. So you like a duck then? I do! I eat bread and water, and that's it. And eggs. And meat. Uh, on that day... So you look, you look a cannibal duck. <laughs> <laughs> On that day, everyone in Kyrag stops what they're doing and offers Kyrgan there, the goddess of our mountains, the most sincere price. We pay for happy, a happy peaceful year under a mountain goddess's protection. It's the Arapathy problem. Kyrag didn't have many affected in the past, so most of us don't know much about Arapathy. In the Snow Realms, Arapathy is far from the greatest threat we face. But ever since my brother got into the mountains, uh, got, the mind is getting my real way. Been getting more and more visitors, and life has gotten much better. Thanks to that, everyone's starting to learn more about the infected and neuropathy. Ducks cannibalize each other pretty frequently. What do you mean ducks cannibalize each other pretty frequently? Is that a thing? Huh. I guess neuropathy is stepping into the limelight since there are no other pressing issues. Kyra still doesn't have any professional means to test for neuropathy, let alone helping the infected get settled uh, and get treatment. Given the situation, you might be the best consultant they can, uh, can get. Doctor, are you going to accept the invitation? 
Mm, join me soon? Huh? Personally, I really want you to go. My parents died in an accident when I was still a kid. After they died, my brother and Teodis took over their business to support the family. He had to support all by himself. Until I came of age. Then to ensure family's future, he, kept, he left Carrick to study in Victoria. Uh, ducks are scary elders creatures? I know ducks eat peas. That's all I know to eat, right? Um, two more birds have something to get boilers eat. Oh, they trying to have fun? <laughs> Man, ducks are cool. Okay. My family was already on pretty shaky ground before he left Carag, And that was around when he started getting more and more uh, headstrong. But at least we all still got along well as siblings. But things changed ever since he came back and started calling trade. Both my brother and sister treated me very well. But for some reason, the two of them started talking less. Their relationship soured. Five years ago, when the last Saintess passed away, my sister joined the trials and became the new Carag Saintess. She's really left Mount Carlin since. They haven't had a lot of chances to see her. We only write to each other now. And ever since she became the Saintess, it feels like my brother is often at odds with her. I may be very good at mountain climbing, but I wouldn't know where to start to mend relationships. But you're really an amazing doctor. You get along with everyone, and you've solved a lot of problems for people. Is we really gonna go in as, as the family? <laughs> right, okay, I see what this is. NCO wants us to take this deal, so you can be the new Silver Ash family therapist. Amazing. <laughs> That's why I was thinking that if we ever had the chance, maybe you could help me come up with ideas. But... But? Doctor, I guess this might seem weird coming from me. But I know my brother better than anyone else. He's amazing, but he's the kind of person who doesn't mind doing whatever it takes to achieve his goals. I'm actually a little worried that you'll end up becoming a pawn in this game if you go. So that's why it's okay if you don't want to- if you don't want to. Hmm, I'll bear with it for now. Are we okay? Once I told you, you should have gone out, you still could. Look at you now, you're caught. This is a talking rock. Huh? You can hear me, right? Hey, listen! Wait! Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second! This is the rock she's- this is the rock she's talking to! My name is Enya, right? It's the one that Enya's talking to. Uh, what should I call you? Oh, it's so Kiara. Kiara, okay. Call me Kiara. I changed my mind. I want to be friends with you. Would you like to be friends with me? Um, maybe... Why don't you tell me what this rock is, is, is talking rocks all about first? Hmm, that's caused by information. Well, I don't really have so much time to keep bothering you. You really don't want to talk. But it's not so bad to have somebody talk to, talk to you, don't you think? Okay, we literally that it. We're talking to the rock now, and all of that for one energy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm gonna be here for hours reading this. Uh, skill tutor, you This power is not mine. However, Rhodes <laughs> Island has needed <laughs> So I will employ it to its God, wait. Is there a Destiny Club, or is that like future stuff? It does. It does seem like ghost though. Speaking of Destiny, right? Okay, I hate Destiny, but I'm thinking I'm gonna play the next uh, the next DLC. I really hate Destiny, but for the next DLC, I'm willing to overlook my distaste for the game and play it anyway. Oh, it's in the future. Okay, cool. In that case, everyone, everyone's just. <laughs> but like, yeah, I'm willing to overlook anything to, to, for more arcade. I know I hate when companies bring dead characters, but. It's Kate 6, let me have this, please. I, I genuinely hate Destiny so much, but I will be playing it. <laughs> uh, Laura! You only want your family helping with work the second you're back. No, I'm just doing what I should. Let's take a good look around, too. Uh, it really does change once you study outside. Far better head on than you, uh... Far better head on you than my little brother. What a wonderful girl you are. Shame. Who knows if I'll ever find one as nice as you again after I move. No one exists anymore than Destiny players, yeah. <laughs> that is absolutely true. Wait, Sasa, you've been living fine here all this time, right? Why they move? My dad, you know. Yesterday at the Tricon Council, they announced the same task would lead the three, right? Now dad's all fired up. 
Oh, Uncle Zoe was already against... Uh, oh, he's against Santiotti's open door policy. Right? We moved here from up north back so then so my brother and I could get, could get work. And here, Dad pretty much got used to it over the years. And now they announced the resi resignation yesterday and he's over the moons. At dinner last night, he was going on and on mad at Sir Antiotis for everything he's done over these years. And I was fed up hearing it. I even had an argument with him. But you can't change his mind in the end. You might end up moving straight back uh, to the Polaroch's territory. So not your brother's job. Who knows? Once resignation's through, it's up in the air if ter <laughs> <laughs> I heard the uh, Polaroch say, See, in the first place, it was the St. Tesla's council they wanted Serenciotis handing the, <laughs> the Pallies of Mines over. She's gonna go and gag, so Serenciotis probably isn't getting any favors. That's true. I love Aurora so much. It's a good thing too, though. You might have missed it being outside so long, but the three clans get along fine at first. It's just lately, they've fallen out more and more with each other. A lot of people who were scared after, uh, after last council began to full-blown war. Yeah, it's amazing how Sir Anciotis yielded on this. And he's putting power with the same test. Yeah, just like, uh, sh just it should have happened long ago, if you ask me. But hate his open door policy, seeing as our family made a good living from it too. But sometimes it really does feel like the old people say, how Kyag's not like Kyag, any Kyag anymore. <laughs> it's funnier the 16th time, yeah, yeah. Jokes get funny every time you tell them. The first time, it's like, it's whatever. Second time, uh, you're starting to see the funniness. It's not until the 21st time you tell a joke that it actually gets funny, and then it's only downhill from there. But you have to get to that point first. Uh, him deciding to give way now and make less of a fuss, everyone approves of that. It's just old grumps like you're a big brother against it. Hmm. My brother. I'm back. Oh, you steely kid. Told you to relax since you got home, but you just had to work. You and your uh, or pithy thing. You might not feel bad about your health, but we still hurt over it. It's alright, sis. A bit of work like this won't get it in the way. Okay, it won't get in the way. Um, where's bro? He said he was heading to the factory just now. And went out, uh, all in a hurry. Said he wouldn't be back today either. The factory? Is that the captain? Captain, is something up? Vacation's over, Aura. The doctor's got the doctor, the doctor got nabbed in the station by the Palaroach family yesterday. Huh? Doctor went with them voluntarily. Should get what I mean. Likely some sort of plan taking under the under the hood. I took a while to look at the map. Takes some time for the station to the Palaroaches. The doctor should have gotten there by now. We ought to be on our way. I'm using the pretext to head to yours now to check the situation. Then I'll come out and converge with you. Got it. Guess I'll go around here with the captain then. Aw, she, she can't even see her brother. Oh. I see. So you're the one from Rhodes Island. So you don't recognize me? Correct. You're very unique, but I don't know why it is you're so unique. Because I'm the main character, that's why. Back to the market, what did you mean? Hmm? It was no more than a word of advice. You see, aren't you under the watch of a group of strangers, I'm free to even stroll outside? What do you know? Before I answer your question, tell me first. For what reason did you come to Kerag? Uh... I mean, all of- all of them? I mo- I just- I- Silver Ash, Silver Ash, Silver Ash. It's just so- it's just Silver Ash. Uh... So in other words, your aunt and Sadie's friend. Yeah... <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna go with that. <laughs> it depends. I'm very curious. How much it is like you regard this land of Kirag? <laughs> back I think that's an insult. It's very peaceful here. Peaceful. Yes, it's been peaceful here for one, over a thousand years by now. And peace of mind signif uh, signifies sanation. Kirag's people are too used to this st status quo, so the point they don't care what happens to outside, but have any interest in it. It should be a good thing by all right uh, by uh all rights. But lately I felt <sighs> The way you see it, should Kerak change? Um... I don't think this place is full enough yet. How cautious. But I don't mind the cautious at all. It's just a shame. You probably have little time left to learn how this present country manifests. So what do you know? I... I have a friend. This friend has been thinking all this time about how to finally change Kerak for the better. However, she's thought for a long time and can't come up with an answer. 
She's gradually realized that everyone thinks different to her. And their mindsets, no matter who they are, are disturb her. She wants to do something, but every time she wants to, there's always someone advising against her. And now she finds she's become slowly able to stop what these people wish to do. And it's in this moment you have arrived. You think this is sort of omen? Omen? Perhaps any point in a storm is a more fitting description. An invitee of Enciotis come from, outer, come from outer lands. The spectrum and scent of you can meet other, otherly feeling. Peculiar novel. Tell me, stranger. What does your rival pre pretend? Come to mention it. Maybe you can do me a favor. Ooh. Ooh, favor? Hmm. Encia, I hope the letter finds you all. Oh, you've come back to Kirag. I'm very, very happy for that. Though I can't descend the mountain to meet you, getting word that you are safe and healthy delighted me more than anything. I also hear that the people helping treat your apathy came to Kiarag with you. If I have the chance, I'd love to express my thanks to them. For saving my sister, they deserve the blessings of Kiarander. We're going to greet your neighbors and tell them you're sound. Be early to bed and early to wake, and don't forget to pay pray twice to Kiarander every day. Also, you're not allowed to climb any mountains. <laughs> Wait, what? Alright, I think you're probably fed up with your sister going on. So stop nagging you here. May you enjoy your time back home, Encia. I'll pray before Kiagana for blessings upon you. P.S. If you can write a letter back to me, that'll be all the better. Come on, I only got the last letter not long ago. Seriously, it's like she hasn't written in forever. She's on my case like this every time. Thank you, Kiar. You're always the one handing me my sister's letters. It's alright. Uh, the great Saint Tess can't descend at will. So I go out and about in her place and bring up outside news to her. So she desires too. Uh, sorry though. I'll go in my room to write a letter back for now. I'm about to get ready for something else. Based on the bag next to you, you want to head outdoors? Yep. Where are you going? To climb Jungfrau? Come on, I forgot until you mentioned it. I still haven't gone to Jungfrau. But where I'm going is the valleys this time. The valleys? Aren't they about to be handed over to the Weinberg Court? And there's so many factories there too. What are you going to do? The doctor's gonna head there, which means I have someone to see. Oh, Kiar, you have no idea what I'm talking about, do you? Ah, I do believe I've heard tell. The guests taken away by the power riches. Mm hmm. I guess in the first place. Concern for the doctor's safety is really weighing on me. You're such a good girl. But take care. I hear things haven't been too calm there lately. Mm hmm. Uh, Lady Encia, we can depart now. Worry not, our responsibility will lie with me on this departure. You're a huge help, Uncle. Uh, it's rare you ask me to help you with things. How would I ever refuse this? Kiara, I'm gonna be gone for a little, uh, I'm gonna be gone for a little, a little long while. If you can't go back and tell my sister, I'll pay her after I'm done. It's quite alright, I can wait. Older sister moment? <laughs> I mean, it's just weird seeing siblings getting along more than anything else, right? Aurora, I need info to make judgment calls, especially if you use as a local. Tell me about how you see the doctor's current situation. Mrs. was likely in a very sensitive position given he was formerly in charge of the mines and valleys. Sir Anziotti is putting the doctor in that same position now is bound to draw Arctox's uh, attention. <laughs> Tell me in detail about why the mines and valleys are such a sensitive area. Hmm. Maybe more convenient if we had a map on hand. Carrick's topography isn't too complicated, and it's not very finely partitioned either. Usually, us locals just call each other, uh, call, call each area of the mines. Valleys, woodlands, lakes, mountains, creeks, and plains. The creeks and plains in most of the lakes are the power which is in the north. The brown tails in the west are mainly the woodlands, and the minority of the lakes. The silver ashes are mainly the mountains, valleys, and mines. They have so little of the lakes, you can essentially ignore it. And the valleys and mines? Actually, they represent nearly half of the silver ashes territory already. Civil so reaches come in all shapes and sizes, yeah, I mean... My sister hates me. <laughs> oh, but you know, the mines have always been incredibly important land to the Silver Ashes. Because practically only ore and care comes from there. While the valleys were only developed in recent years. Originally, they were extremely poor land to work. And there weren't more than a few hamlets. People always considered the, an area with no use. But after Sir Anciotis founded Carlin Trade, he chose the land to use for sitting uh, factories. The majority of Carlin Trade's manufacturing is built there. And it's extremely close to Mount Carlin too. On top of that, I exchanged some info with Karag Matt Mertens before he left. But everyone who comes outside to do business is related to Carlin Trade in some way. A month ago, with the Great Saint Tess's backing, 
The Brand Pills and Power Witches requested and organized a team to investigate health and safety issues at the factories. But the team met a surprise attack secretly ordered by Gnosis, who wouldn't play along at all. I don't know how the info came about, but everyone believes Gnosis was involved in it. That led to the Power Witch's head. Octods getting inspiration from the Vine Bears Court to send troops to station the rallies. It's because of the consequences of Gnosis' extreme actions that he was finally removed. At the meeting, the doctor mentioned NCOD's reason for making uh, the invitation. I can't read. We do help construct uh, arpathy related facilities for Carlin Trade, but he never mentioned helping the doctor manage anything in his place before. Just to say, the doctor's actively climbed onto the scales of this cons conspiracy. Very doctor like to do. That seems likely, but Carlin Trade and Rhodes Island have a perfectly fine relationship. The doctor would probably only accept because of that relationship. For now, I can't imagine a reason why certain COTs would want to set up the Doctor. What do we do now? Contact Doctor Talbotson. The land ship's headed for Victoria. We need the use of a local large-scale comm station because our handheld equipment's got no way to get in touch. <sighs> Captain, I surveyed for a stretch. Guard force the Doctor's present placement is uh, low strength. The Palamoch's residence. Oh, the Palamoch. Palamoch residence. <laughs> Should have about 200 inner guards. Training and arms not uh, up to any outside. <laughs> I can't read! The Palomar's residents should have about 200 inner guards. Training and arms not up to outside army standard. We can break through on a surprise raid. I checked surrounding terror into. Alternate plan is we infiltrate, but that needs setting up explosives in multiple locations beforehand. Going in and pulling out both needed manufactured explosions to draw attention. There's still there's some points in the wall structure that'll let. Wait, Captain! I feel like things aren't going to get to that point. No matter what happens, we need to ensure the Doctor's safety. That's our first priority. I agree with that, but... If we bring force against the House of Power Witch in the run-up to the Grand Ceremony, then I'm worried the Rose Island will end up an enemy of Mount Carlan. What the care operators at Rose Island do? We need to consider the worst-case scenario and the least honorable way of solving things. The present outlook is pessimistic, and if I have to make a choice, you know it'll only choose the Doctor. Oh, you know what it is. <laughs> I swear, the longer this goes on, um, it's like a memory leak in my brain, right? The longer that, like, the, I, the longer I stream for, the more I end up stuttering. You don't only choose the doctor. We all hope things won't go that far, but you know as well as I that it doesn't depend on us, and I have a responsibility to the doctor and Rhodes Island. I just can't shake the sense that Serencioni's probably has his own plans. The doctor chose to play them at their own game, so some kind of clue must have been there long ago. The doctor's already prepped to deal with it. I've never doubted the doctor's abilities for a moment, I believe. But I need to make my own preparations beforehand. The doctor put me on standby, so there's place for us in the plan. I need to get in touch with the doctor first. <laughs> so from memory fragmentation, yeah, exactly. My brain's got memory leak. I'm running out of RAM. I need to download more. Aurora! Hmm? You respect Antiodes a lot. Yes, without him I would never have been able to leave Kirag. And come into contact with the outside world. Understandable. But for the moment, I want you to forget that. So right now you treat him as a hypothetical enemy. Can you do that? You feel that you can't? You can head back right now. I won't blame you. But at the same time, I'm an employee of Rhodes Island too. Remember what you just said. Understood. But we have to watch out for Cliffheart and the rest too. I trust Cliff Hart, but have no confidence in NCS Silver Ash. <laughs> For now, we figure out how to meet up with the doctor. Drop my toes of ram sticks. I don't, that's gonna how, I don't think it's gonna be how it works, but. You're the doctor subordinates. In an instant, a hardened steel blade streaks through air, stopping just a hair's width from the woman's neck. Wow, that's a weird way to use a sword here. Who are you? Well, there's no need to be this ferocious to an ordinary, ordinary girl you just met. Putting this position and cracking a joke in this context, does that make you an ordinary girl? Put the blade down first. Your Rose Island doctor sent me. I was asked to bring you a message. <laughs> yeah, Sharp needs to like calm down a little bit, I think. Mm hmm. Prolonged casting makes Finally, some clear. gameplay, right? And I even hallucinate if I'm unlucky. Let's make it a blitzkrieg, shall we? Mm -mm -mm. So if I zero chill, he does he seriously he he he, he angry. Just 
Like the old days? No. I got this. Fear not! Here I come! Hmm. Oh, okay. Here we go. We, 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 we got the other kind of swing here. Uh, range. On Too bad I have a delete button. <laughs> no. Ready to heal. Hmm. Little face swap enough to chill. Fair enough. Can I just? You think you'll have to try harder than that? Oh, oh that means it's no storm. Okay, I see. I see. I see. BGM. There is BGM, but it's really, really quiet. I can't turn it if I need to, though. Well, well. You actually came to us. Brown Tail's territory proves it all by your lonesome. You got balls, no, sis. Hey, no, boys. Hey, no, boys. Hey, no, boys. Yeah, hey, no, boys. BGM's fine. Okay, cool. Oh, it's been upright and honorable. <sighs> That's rich coming from you after what you were kicked out of Kylan Trade for. All your shady business. I thought I'd see Rados here. Anyone could bluff like that, but I just wasn't going to just take your words so easily. As, as I said before, it takes two to cooperate. It seems my words have reached her, and that's more than enough to me. <laughs> Talk all you want. So, since you came here all by your lo yourself, you said last time things have come to this. What's all that about? Oh, what's that? What's that all about? <sighs> what things have come to what? Ah. Uh. Why do you think Insioni's proposed this transfer of powers? Isn't that because he can't take on both the power which is in us? So he figured to compromise? Compromise? <sighs> compromise. Think again, Madam Sirius. Uh, I dare say your sister thinks otherwise. Ever since Insioni's came back to Kirag, was there any single thing he did that wasn't in pursuit of his ultimate victory? Is his proposal to put the Sintesses back in power really, really a compromise? Here's a hint. The ceremony. Hmm? What about the ceremony? Don't tell me he's gonna throw a fit there and refuse to turn over his powers. The ceremony is night, and there'll be more chains coming in and out of the Silver Ashes territory, transporting both resources and people. Take a guess. Why didn't Tionis himself propose to hand the Saint Tass his powers? Even arranging for it to happen on the day of the ceremony. Arctos is a short sighted man. He thinks Tionis will pull some kind of dirty trick once he's uh, in control. And so he reassigned his men to guard the valleys in the mines. Even to keep an eye on the doctor that Ancioni's invited. But the funny thing is that he doesn't know it's all pointless. Sirius looks to the corner of the room for a brief moment. There's nothing there, but Gnosis notices it. Gnosis looks straight at the wall lit there. Adios, you can't be that stupid. I will tell you what Ancioni's is planning. But you better see me yourself next time. Even I have to see his schemes come to fruition. Or even if I have to see his schemes come to fruition, you two are present. I won't allow myself to be made a fool of again. <laughs> she was listening the whole time. Now, excuse me. No, Steven talks like a goth boy. He does. Baratos. Hey, Baratos, I know you're there. Pipe down, Sirius. There's a rumbling noise and the wall board slowly moves to the side. Baratos is sitting inside till he rises and steps out. You believe in what he said? Maybe I should say I'm shocked that you never considered the possibility, sister. But even the Saint Tass is on his side now. Can Ancioni's really be so unscrupulous that he... That he... Don't be silly, Sirius. From the moment he first trampled our faith, 
when he laid his chain track straight to Kiarag and broke away from the Saint Us. No, ever since he so calmly agreed to let his sister become the Saint Us in exchange for his seat in the Tricon Council, he hasn't cared. You all know how well those siblings got along in their in their earlier years. I also once thought that letting his devout Enya become the Mimer Court's hostage was a brilliant move. But now, I wouldn't be surprised if he one day brought his men up the mountain to burn the whole Vinebear court. Or burn down the whole Vinebear court. <laughs> she was in the walls, yes. Let's hope Antiotis is really gonna use force. Slow down, sister. There's another possibility. He could be pulling our leg. Oh, let me have a of order real quick. Mm -mm -mm. I spilled out myself. I'm great. That was a <laughs> brilliant move on my part. Oh, uh, why? To make us think he's up to something shady, so we end up making the first move. How good does that do him? He's not trying to have somebody else do his dirty work and off his enemies. He's trying to find an excuse to start a war and earn himself some clout in the end. <sighs> Whatever it is, we're probably all in trouble. Well, how do we figure this out? No idea. None at all? I'm not exactly omniscient here. But if he's lying, there's gotta be holes. You! Your orders, uh, matriarch. Think of anything you can find in Gnosis. We looked into him before, but he's had and he's had lots of dealings since his job got handed off. There should be a lot more clues now. Start there. Understood. It's always weird to me how like realistic some of the NPCs look compared to the uh others. You better not disappoint me, Gnosis Edelweiss. Paratos, if he was telling the truth, would you really take him in? Why not? He's an idol vice. The family got Antiotis' father killed 15 years ago. So what? Betrayed the silver ashes, but when Antiotis came back from studying in Victoria, this guy tagged along, wanting a slice of the pie. If you ask me, he's the type too. uh, he doesn't give two licks about loyalty, only profit and success. Now he's made an enemy of his master, he's gotta find a new sugar daddy to get his room now! <laughs> reason <laughs> so you Sierras the silver ashes control the gates the power witches have their rich farmlands and their army but the brown tails have nothing what do you think we send as one of Kiarag's three families because what we do earns the highest return I learned grandpa's lessons just as well as you did right since I'm letting you in there's lots of things that you really must spend some time pondering as a child of the Brown Tales, in times like these, you need to know the best course of action. It's more than just knowing the risks of dealing with a criminal. You need to learn to assess this all yourself. Profit always comes with risks. We need to learn how to mitigate these risks beyond just shutting them out along with profits, dear sister. Our biggest worry is that everything you just said was true, but also part of a lie. Another thing. You've gotten really close with that servant of yours, haven't you? You mean Munch? Munch, conch, conch, whatever. <laughs> Don't trust anyone too much, sister. I don't need you to tell me what to do. I'll show you how much stronger I can make brown tails without you. <sighs> I never should have given Antiotis this chance. I have that brain dead more in Arctos to thank. Take any away from my scumbag brother? Don't make me laugh. Whatever. Yucatan. Yes, matriarch? Let the pilot witches know that I'll visit in a few days. Of course. Hmm. That looks so pretty, doesn't it? Doctor, you entered the valley. <laughs> My butt hurts! <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, there's never permitted any rail tracks to be built in the Palaroches' territory. It's not in our habit to use cars. I suppose it may not be easy for a foreigner like you to ride a bird a bird and beast. Uh, Doctor Abby, welcome. I'm Sunziotis' secretary, Chester. Please allow me to accompany you as you survey as you survey the area. To give Sir Arctos the absolute peace of mind, we'll ask you to inspect each and every factory and mine site before they're declared closed. Once you have checked everything here, both Sir Arctos and the Great Elder will give their approval. Will you will the transfer be considered complete. What do you think, General Val Valais? I'd be for the best, of course. Well, I need to change where I'm sitting. Ow, 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 my legs hurt. Uh, in that case, please follow me. We'll take a stroll and get a grasp of the environment and situation here. Hmm. Still, this is just way too sudden. Great! 
I'd heard there was bad news from the last Tricon Council, but that's not enough to send us running. My son was hurt while working in the factory not too long ago. I'm still waiting for his medical subsidy. We, we've always believed in Sir Anciotis. He's not going to abandon us, is he? All of us put in so much work to improve the Karak's livelihood. You can't just shut the factory down like that. What about infected like us? We finally found work at the factory. Please, everyone, calm down. Listen to me. Oh, nice timing, Doctor. Courier? <laughs> it's been a while. I'm really sorry that we dragged you into our local affairs. Please bear with it for a little bit longer. Once the ceremony's over, the Silver Ashes will probably receive you. But before that, I think I might need your help with something. You want, you want me to help calm these people down? Sharp as always, Doctor. Looks you're doing well yourself. <laughs> Don't be so humble, Doctor. Your abilities are on another on level. I've seen for myself. I will need your help with many other things as well. Well then, I'll need to borrow the Doctor for this job of mine. Just for a bit. But the power is mine? By all means. Friends and curry countrymen, Sir Anziotis has personally instructed me to offer all these affected as explanation on his behalf. It so happens the Doctor is here too. The Doctor is Sir Anziotis' esteemed guest and Carlin Trade's current chief technician, te technical officer. I can't breathe. Oh god. Today, together with all of you, our guests will bear witness to this message. At the Tricon Council, the great houses in the Vinebear Court reached an understanding for the interim and will begin discussion on any follow-up matters. Because of the grave mistake made by Gnosis, the previous CTO, Colin Trade must shut down all factories in a, in a show of goodwill. Once the transfer of power is complete, the Silver Ash family will actively work with the Vinebear Court and advocate for a gradual reopening of some of our factories in a controlled, carefully planned manner. Hmm. Please trust me and trust the Silver Ash family that this is for the best. Now, as I introduced earlier, and will emphasize once more, this is Sir Anciotis' esteemed guest as well as Carlin Trade's current CTO. Our guest is a master not only of the production and mining technologies that we all are all familiar with, but also the prevention and treatment of aeropathy. The doctor likewise represents a medical organization that will help Carlin Trade answer the critical questions that we are all struggling with, including the medical support issue we were just discussing, I can't read. Such things would not be possible in our mountains of yore, and together with the doctor, Colin Trade will bring about this new future. At the same time, it is Sir Antiotis' wish for the territorial subjects of other two houses to cast aside their differences and help us build Karag. There's no need for panic. Please put your faith in Sir Antiotis and the Saint Ass. Have faith in Kiragander will never abandon his child or her children. Ah, my Kiragander. My Kiragander. My Kiragander. Now then, I will. Wait, hold on a minute. After hearing you out, I, I have something to say. Please. It's not that we don't trust the other two houses. It's just we've really had it fairly nice the last couple of years. Thanks to certain COTs. We have work, we get enough food to eat, we have even, uh, we even get painkillers. We never had it so easy before. Since we heard the factory was going to be shut down, we've all been worried that the good times are coming to an end. Please rest assured. The doctor, as I introduced just now, is an Orphathy scholar. Colin Train invited the doctor here precisely because we are concerned about our infected workforce's livelihood. So please put your faith in us, Colin Trade. Oh, yes, is there something you would like to uh, add, doctor? Um, I was told Mr. Nsodis was more practical. There are also those uh, of mine that his ideas are impractical. My apologies, I've misspoken. Friends, it's true, I'm not done yet. We didn't keep our internal internal affairs in check, and that led to you losing your jobs. That's entirely our fault. Colin Trade promises to keep your or original positions un unfilled. You'll continue to be compensated, and we will arrange job opportunities with equal or even greater pay and benefits. And I'm sure you can already tell that, unlike Gnosis, the doctor actually understands what you truly need. Hey, thank you! The doctor will bring Colin Trade the technologies that will truly benefit our day-to-day -day lives. Right, this is what Sir Anciotis truly wanted all of us to know. Sounds great, I'll head back and let everybody know. Good, that's very good. Don't forget Kyogana's teachings, young man. <sighs> good work. No, 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 it's my job to speak for him. Convincing performance. Not an old doctor. Actually, if it weren't for you, I probably would have forgotten to say all that. <laughs> okay, I'll take my leave now. Courier. Uh, yes? Well, you can't be here just for that. I'm not sure what you're talking about, Doctor. I don't know what that means, but I said it anyway. Huh. Hmm. 
Uh, the requirements have been met, just as Madame Sirius expected. And see what he's sent, uh... Well, it's presumably is some kind of insurance uh, policy. This is not nearly enough. You're to ensure that things go according to Madame Sirius' plans once Weiss is gone. Yes. Hmm. You were followed. What? I didn't... There was on only one of them, now long gone, running after the men Sierras assigned to you. I'm very sorry for betraying your expectations, Zernosis. No, perhaps this is for the better. I'm prepared to be your pawn and do whatever you say. I'm just a researcher, Munch. Pawns are meaningless to me. What I want is a partner that I can work with. Proceed with the plan. Don't worry. But it doesn't see won't catch you. Understood. Mm, nice. Is it over? Hey, everyone else. <laughs> I need somewhere to rest for a moment. Feels weird having this much my name. Any worse. I could get used to this. Let me hide the uh, the names. Ha. Right. I need the last of the uh, LMD. How much is that then? Oh, we're so close! Please, we're so close. We're so close. Wait. Great. We are so this close. This is the same as it ever was. Morning. Got any new plans? Munch the sim. Munch the sim. But I can relate. Engineering's doing a good job. Oh come on! We're so close. <gasps> it's a fast hey. way to get more LMD this real quick. This is the same as it ever was. Morning. Got any new plans? Like. Oh, please! I'm so desperate! We need more LMD! I am so close to it. Hmm. Where is the... There we go. Running at me? Sort of! As always, the pack that's not worth the cost or LMD stage... Oh, the LMD, LMD stage is closed. Oh god, I can't sit straight today. Money stage, money stage is closed. Crying. Oh, uh, wait, where's the... Huh? Can I, can I buy, please? Can I spend? Store? Am I having a... There you go. That's only 20, though. What's 20 times 38? That's not gonna be enough. That's not gonna be anywhere near enough. I need 8,000 LMD. It's not worth- I know, but I'm desperate! I'm desperate! It's only 760? What the hell? Use drones in the training post, but I don't have enough to get the, uh, the, the chips, right? Oh, wait, why is this on Arginium? What? This should not be on Arginium. It's on... Can I delete this, or...? It, it, should be doing, it should be doing the medals and stuff. Can I, can I delete this? Scam it by that? No, I, never, I did change it back. It's on, it's on business. Both are on business. I'll use the drone though. Okay. That looks to be enough received. though. Resources received. It, we're, oh my god, we're so close. We're running out of drones. Please, I'm desperate. I'm desperate for this. We need... Oh, we need four of the... Oh, the materials are gonna be the death of me. I don't think I can craft them. I think I can craft them all. Nice number. It is a, it is a conveniently nice number, isn't it? Can you send any for Jones? 
Yeah, but I need to use sanity as well to get the uh, the chips, right? I need to convert the, the, the drones uh, for the chips as well. Sanity to drones is pretty like expensive though, right? Like, it's, it's, let me guess if we're getting sorry, it's gonna be the end of all if I use them, right? Um, it's gonna lead to make me sources. Oh! <laughs> we're building a uh, Scotty. Scotty Alter. If I'm just Sanity. Oh, it's, I'm suffering. I'm greatly suffering. Great. This place is the same as it ever was. Morning. Got any new plans? When's the next leveling up pack? Is it level six? Is level sixty-five? Oh, I'm so far away. Oh, patient, I need some virtue. Uh, uh, when I get Skyborn Spark or Spook, I got a Spark. I I pulled until I hit three hundred on Texas Banner, and I got uh plus six Texas. Uh, one penance, one Rosa, uh, and then uh, one Espantis as, as, as a jump scare, and then I got one uh Scotty from Spark. Should I leave my currency from Texas again? Yeah. Uh, wait, you mean the actual event? I only got these things as well, yeah. Um, I didn't get any of these in, in the end because I I didn't I used my Spark. Um, I I did use a little currency I think. I can check though. Oh wait, no, what the hell? How do I have... Where did that happen? Well... Uh, do we need, I think we need grindstones for uh, Scotty, right? Uh, do, wait, what else do I need for the, uh, for, for, for Spotty? Hmm. I think it was just the grindstones, right? Yeah, yeah, I need grindstones. I need these things now. What do these things require to craft? Yeah, I think I'm good on that. I need all oh, rocks. Funny cue for crafting. Oh yeah, rocks are gonna be a big issue. I think I already bought them all though. Oh, I'm still a, I'm still a lot of rocks left actually. Oh god, I, I get all the rocks. Smart, but I could. That's eleven thousand LMD. It's only taking yeah, but it it, it would give me enough to uh to, to get to get uh what was it? Scotty though. Do you do you not think that I I could? I only get materials when I need them for characters. I don't get materials unless I actually need them. But like... Do you know I need? I need... No, I need, I need to reach uh, 180k. So this would give me... Uh, if I make a poll, people are just gonna vote no.
Thank you, Mr. Zenny. He sends you back for the next operators. But, like, I already have, like, I can just craft stuff, right? I have four of these, and, like, okay, I don't have any of these, but, like, You know, the LD crap material is too heavy? Yeah, exactly, so you need the LD. If we still have to pull in for mats? But, but, uh, net, future operators are, are like, okay, right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna prove, I'm gonna prove a point right now by looking at the pretty operators I have. Okay, these, these are all the pretty operators I have, not Mountain. Mountain's not really counter at me. Uh, if I want to, okay, so see what, so Ash, okay, so Ash, uh, what do you want materials I need, exception to these? Um, I want to need two Hashigama, okay. Same materials as, uh, Scotty, but that's fine. I can just craft some more. Um. Scotty, do working on that. Horn! Again, I've already got these things. Wanted to level up. It's fine. To see a... Just... No one needs Beholden Anoplex. Unless it's for, like, the... 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 These... The, these things. Masteries. Um... If you're to check the curse, you would be like, Yeah, like, I'm not, I'm not, at the end of the day, right? I'm a whale. I can spend all my money on these things instead and then just craft what I need to. And that's what I do, right? That's all I do. I spend a lot of, I spend a lot of, like, currencies on these things. And then I, um, yeah, I mean, look how many, look how many yellow certs I have. <laughs> I think I'm set. <laughs> I mean, hell, if I really wanted to, I could buy some from here. Just saying. Well, buy like you said to these trees. I did actually a while ago. I only buy them now in need to know basis, but a while ago, like I did actually buy at the stage three. Uh. Tell them to buy the credits and packs. No, because I don't have, I don't, I save the, the, for like, uh, packs that contain Orginium. Thank you, Shorty, 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 in all of it in one go, but like... My finger slipped. What a shame. <laughs> what a shame. Man. <laughs> uh, how many... How many ch ch chips do I have? Hmm. Hmm. Another new room. Engineering's doing a oh, good job. How many chips do I have? Do I need? Oh, I need. I need the four chips, right? I don't need the catalyst. I don't. I don't know if I. Uh, this battle record, right? I need to have an how many? Okay, I need. I need two more. Two more supported chips. Yeah, yeah. And then three. Uh. Of the things. Great. Cool. Into this the mines we go. Ever was. Da -da -da. Morning. Got any new plans? Let's see, fast Debbie with evidence on the wrong scale. Let's go. <laughs> Don't worry about the LMD. I didn't even know that I had that many, uh, that many currency to spare anyway, right? I just buy the um the the, the dorm stuff for the funnies, and then uh, yeah. Free to play climbing and pain and angry right now. We established like the last stream that I wailed that I'm not free to play. Like. Pop off, Crustacean Queen, LMD go up, hell yeah. It was, yeah, it was free LMD. It was completely free. I didn't even know I had that much currency, so when you think about it, it's just it's just free LMD. Like, I wouldn't have known. The performance it would have will begin soon. Meanwhile, I am a whale in this game, and I really should not be spending as much as I have in Archimates, but it's funny, so I, I won't. My toxins will slowly burn your life away. Um, yeah, I mean... <laughs> 
instrument is operating fine. I don't think I'm much of spelling arc knights. I'm a bit too scared to find out. Is she a whale of me? <laughs> no! Everyone, follow me! I mean it's accurate. But um Fear not! Here I come! Oh, look at Gabriel. It's very rare that I ever see her facing upwards, you know? Then it tends to look at that look at that really cool tail. No whale on the shrimp. Yeah, well. I thought the same too until the incident. <laughs> I need to get all those mats. Yeah, but like I can just buy the mats in the green suits. I just don't get you people. That's fine. It'll be over in an instant. And anyway, this the start of next month, uh, IS3 gets more stuff added, right? So that's even more materials. Mm -hmm. Is it over? So I'll max it out in like two days, though. I need somewhere to rest for a moment. And just one Before more to go. Gets any worse. And we'll have enough for Scotty. Let me know a user. We'll find out. Um, weird how I got a bug that gives you free LMP. <laughs> Don't say that. Your store's gonna, your store's gonna ban me. <laughs> My toxic hunt is ready. Poison. Um, what incident? The, 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 well, there's, there's been many incidents, actually, but the biggest one is the Soda Incident. We don't talk about the Soda Incident. The, the Mudrock Incident, rather. Mudrock Incident? It, 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 it's, it's just, it's an event that happened in the past. It's all in the past now, it's fine. Uh, what can I say? Music on the battlefield. I prepared a gift for you. Like it? Solid position, woman. Uh, every day I'm gonna try this game, I guess. Ooh, is it? Oh, wait. She's a buffer? Oh, in that case, I could probably carry with Evan Holtz for, like, big boy damage. Instrument is operating fine. Yeah. scanning terrain. I, I just play around with fair characters. Keep away. Hmm. It always... How do I say this? I always find it weird when people get, like, uh... Um, even, even after last stream. The people like, oh, but Ebby has all the upgrades she needs to be these stages. She's choosing to play the, the, the bad ones. Man, I'm choosing to play the fun ones. This is wretched. <laughs> Turns me to see heal upgrades everywhere as long as it's health available. Ooh, that's pretty cool. I like the sound of that. I will continue to stare at my E2 vigil and, uh, and enjoy him. We're not here to be courteous. There we go. Clown Slayer is a joke versus... I mean, in general, it's a joke, but she's even more of a you joke You illegally yeah. required to deploy Gavil such that her tail is visible. It is criminally punishable to not appreciate that beautiful slender tail. <laughs> Thank you so much, Gavil Super the Gods of Woods. Thank you so much, I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. You're absolutely right. It is right. indeed criminal to not, not properly admire her tail. I, I can I can agree. Got any new plans? Uh, uh, it's why I need to, I need to start deploying her facing upwards. You mean Clown Slayer? Did I not say Clown Slayer? I meant to say Clown Slayer. Clown Slayer's a joke. Uh, right. Can you get your callus from this store? I mean, I'm just gonna spend the... No, you can't. Okay, go. Cool. In that case... We can get one from here. Then, once the chance is made, we can get two from here. <laughs> oh, I can do it right. I can do it right. <laughs> I still have enough to buy to buy the whole operator, guys. It's okay. I still have enough to buy a whole operator. It's good. <laughs> this place reminds me of Lungman. It, it's not recommended, but it's Doesn't fine. The constant pitter patter of the rain. All right, let's switch. It's for dual tip. Four. Oh, we need to now be full with sanity. Let's go. I'm full whale right now. I have gone full. This wait, which one's this on? This was on uh, battle records, right? Um. Right. So how many do we need now to max this out? How much? Uh. How many? 
How much? How many things do we need? Uh, how many drones do we need? Any eight? Oh, it was sending me to that. I think I use a couple, but it's fun. Okay. It's all good. Nice! We win this! And now we can switch back to... Was it Battle Records? I think it was Battle Records, right? Yeah, Battle Records. Cool. Honey for Joel's ship. Ah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Now I believe, if I remember correctly, I need four of these things, right? I don't have any at the moment. How do you see if you have... Oh, yeah, there we go. I have none. So we need four of... We need three more of these. And two more... Th uh, and... Three more of these. Three more of these each. So three more of these. Right? Wait, it was King College, right? Yeah, three more of these. Three more of these. And then we need... Uh, the rocks, right? The three of these. That's fine. And then... We can... Make four of these. That shouldn't go over the, uh... So we need... Look at my back button. She goes, ah, because I haven't able to swap her out. Oh yeah, I don't play optimally. Great. This place is the same as it ever I can always tell if there's someone who's like, Epi, you're doing it wrong! You're not, you need to use this operator for the best, the best, uh, you know... The best, uh, returns. I'm sure, but... No. <laughs> Effort. Alright, there we go! Scotty! Let's go! She looks so cool. I wanted to eat her just for the, uh, this art. The life to the animation. She's really cool. Sorry, I'm just I'm listening to her voice is really cool. <laughs> there we go. Alright. Level 15. That's that's all we can gotta do right now, but it's good enough. Uh, it skills only rank five. What do we need? We need these. Yeah, I don't have enough, so we're gonna have to keep her, have to keep her skill at level five for now. Can you get them to break the ice in the store, or I believe so. Crying and throwing up. We cannot. I see Shabam. Yeah, yeah. I genuinely hate that material so much because I just I never I never encounter it. Like, I just I don't encounter it at all. I can get coagulating gel here, right? How much do I need? Well, I can't even get enough. That's like I think I need like five, right? How much do I need? I need five! Damn it! I can't. I don't have enough. Be one short. Still. Not worth. Uh, shall we continue? Hmm. I do have a question though. Are you guys still okay with me reading the story? It is very, very, very long. Hmm. <laughs> I'm just happy I got Scotty all up though. I can still bring her along with me, right? Maybe instead of Surtur. She can come along for the, uh, the ride. But I don't to be 250, right? Yeah, but I don't have enough for the third one. So I'm still one short. I see she's about to last two gem release. It's one of the massive situations. Okay, cool. I will figure out what it does. Hmm. Doing it from getting tired for fair to skip. I will keep going for as long as I can, but I feel like this is gonna be like another hour longer reading, isn't it? 
So I don't know if I should just keep going or not. <laughs> Alright. Uh, status report. Things aren't quite right. The doctor's gas was a hit. A lot of people are gathered over here. Are they setting up for the factories? Yes, I'm sure of it. Stay on their tails. Keep me informed. Roger. That's just a point forget you to use. Okay, cool. And that'll conclude this factory's handover. Everything up till now has been as smooth as ice, thanks to your med med uh, mediation, Doctor. I might have been a little neglectful beforehand. I'm very sorry for that. Don't mind it. I'm just a scholar. <laughs> I'm thinking the Tory as a, as, as a scholar. <laughs> My, you don't need to be so humble. There's plenty to still to come that will require your guidance. Uh, one moment. Do you have some qualm about this general, general uh, voice? An ambush. Oh god. That's general voice for you. Who are you? We're here to get an explanation. Uh, Vice and the doctor should uh, just convey to the subject's representatives to the steps the Carlin trade's taking. There must have been some misunderstanding. Misunderstanding? Uh, sorry, Mr. Chester. I don't- I don't- I think you don't- I think you don't get it. Cernciotis was tricked by this foreigner. Huh? Come again? We all cats in the dark. We only realized what was happening once someone told us. Mr. Chester, you should know this foreigner's original purpose in Kerag was to advise on empathy and infected handling methods. That's your point. Our informant is never wrong. This foreigner is already in cahoots with Ar uh, Arctots. And it's your job to keep eyes on the guests, General Valet. Uh, General Valet. Everyone knows the Arctots and the General and, and the Vine Bear Court were never happy with how certain COTs open up Kerag. The foreigner is going to say the factory spread empathy as an excuse to shut them forever with gross slander against the Lord. You're the one speaking slander! The Power Riches have never stooped to such unsightly lows. The Power Riches in the Vine Bear Court are all tied up. You don't think anything unsightly? You don't think enough people have lost their lives? I mean, I'm pretty sure pity would be in the mines, but... Mm. Father, father, are you alright? Come drink it. Drink and all will be better. Kiagana's tears will cleanse this taint. <laughs> the, 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 uh... <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce the word again. The, the cha, the chagata I'm left. <laughs> what proof do you have? You're asking me to prove your own misdeeds? Yeah, I was laughing at the funny word too. <laughs> oh, she got to this one. Doctor, this... Isn't true. Can I trust you? There's only one thing you need to say. Just about yourself to us. Guys, protect our guest. Take him away! Get the foreigner now! God, they're being fought over. Uh, wh where did you come from? It's not safe here. Time to run, Doctor! The air assist operator lifts you up and onto her shoulders and leaves into the forest in giant bounds. <gasps> What's the word? Piggy back right, that's the one. Oh, you can stop running. Let's put me down. Oh, alright. I need to reiterate, Doctor. No matter what plans you have, this is far too dangerous. You probably don't remember, but I've told you the same thing many, many times before. Believe me, I believe you. <laughs> it should have been yeah, yeah, it should have been us. Anyone can make mistakes, even me. If you're willing, I hope you can make my work a little bit easier on me. The possibility is not high, but what would you have done if more professional combatants were snuck into that attack? If they brought crossbows, what then? Sorry, the goal isn't to kill me. I'll report the situation to the doctor. Uh, Captain Sharp and I both followed your confidence message. Heading separately to the Roundtail's residence and the Silver Ashes factory is to pursue suspicious personnel. Our trails ended up converging into one, surprisingly enough. These people were very likely incited by the Roundtails. Agitating civilians and smearing the competition of both common schemes, but they're crude. Seems to conflict between me and the Silver Ashes. But it's also probably a trap. What do you mean? The equipment and combat strength aren't up to par. It's not even enough to get them out into one piece, or in one piece. Suppose they were arrested and interrogated, and they gave up their source. Then it would look bad for the Brown Tails. So the whole of it. The lacking intel. We still can't see the full picture of this incident. No one actually will come to the hinder, uh, hidden orchestrator of their goals. The one thing we can be sure of is someone wants to disturb the tri clan relations. That is to say, they want to shatter the Snow Realm's overall stability. Circumstances are exceptionally dangerous for outsiders like you, Doctor. 
What do you need now, like, Doctor? Should we think of some way to make it back first? It's not time yet. The incident's far from over. That's right. This raid's just one small part of the giant storm. But my duty's clear-cut. I'm getting you out of danger, Doctor. Uh, I'm gonna stop ever steering up the clans. I have to remind you, Doctor. This may have long grown beyond your plans. But since you're so determined, and seeing as you have a good grasp on the things, we won't stop you. At this point, do you plan on telling Curry and Matterhorn, and especially Cliffheart, considering they're all silver ashes? Silence. Doctor, I know you want to trust them, but set aside Cliffheart for now. It's hard for me not to be wary of Curry and Matterhorn in this current tri clan dispute, no matter what. For now, I'll take you back. The trailer bring the ice was where Prince is carrying us, by the way. Aw, oh, that's that's bad. I like that. <laughs> is there anyone else? None. They've all been suppressed. And what about the doctor? Whereabouts? Wait, it's also someone taking the doctor away. Running into the forest. Damn it. You lot, with me. There better not be a single scratch on. Is it is it me is it me you're looking for? Huh? Ah, so you're I thought you You thought I ran. I was a difficult situation there, and I lost sight of you. <laughs> Hope you can forgive me. I made a mockery of myself, and I should by all rights have prioritized your safety. As you can see, the people here have all been contained. Don't move. Settle down. Don't think we don't know. You're here just to frame Sir Enziotis. You self-righteous hypocrite. Ugh. Bro? Oh, wait a second. Laura? Why are you here? Bro, what are you doing? But why are you all mixed up with these people? That's my boss. Leave it. Now's not the time. Understood, Captain. To be honest, I have nitpicks with Carlin Trades Factory safety measures. What? Um. I mean, uh, all of these things, I guess. Particularly if it's work is too low coverage. Have you told him to certain CODs about that? You! You! You're a nasty piece of work after all! It's the truth. I don't quite understand, so I have no way to judge if what you say is true. But it sounds at least somewhat reasonable. I'll never believe your vile lies. You... you... I want you to behave or else. Have you given a thought to the sort of punishment you'll face for attacking an outside guest of honor in the Vine Bear Court's territory? So long as it's for certain Silver Silverash's guests attacked by the Silverash's subjects? Is there any way this one smear the Silverash reputation? This how you repay Sir and uh, repay That... Think about it. Bro, you used to be so cool-headed. What happened? Forget it. You wouldn't understand if I told you. Oh, he's so edgy. Yeah, okay. General Valet, let's, let, let these people go. What? This is a mis misunderstanding. Don't make it any bigger. Is that really all it is? I'm not convinced. <sighs> you know what? Forget it. Listen up, all of you. If it wasn't for our guest al altruism, you'd all be in for a canning, uh, caning or what his days out. Reflect on your actions. Don't think you'll buy us off just like that, you rotten. Leave it. Leave it. We're out of here. Don't disgrace the rashes any more than that. He's too sickly for saying nobody understands me. He really is. The furious subject slowly, uh, wearing expressions of disappointment in spite as they go. The most vitriolic clash for the moment has been diffused. A heavy blizzard is gathering at this moment. Of that much you're sure. Okay, here we go. I can now hide the names. I remember it, see? Prolonged casting makes my headaches flare up. Wait, I don't know how you I use her. hallucinate if I'm unlucky. Let's make it a blitzkrieg, shall we? So let's try it out and see, I guess. Solid positioning. I'll put her here, I guess. So we're in the attack range, they gain this to fight. Oh, the music's cool. Oh, time range is okay. So that just increases the attack range then, I guess. That's good. Just try me. I'll take the lead. Mm. The rest is up to you guys. Yeah, let's get old. Yeah, exactly. Oh, look at her go. She's just singing. Oh, she's dancing too. I love her. Look at her go. Doctor, leave the oh. It'll be over in an instant. Why is she so cute? Now's the time to help everyone out. Please hold on. She's thinning, she is! And this is, uh, the vocal line of, um... 
the 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 the, the, the under tide song before the uh first day healing's better than Ansel? Okay. Awaiting your orders. Oh shit! This is still kind of bit of healing, yeah. These so-called folks. Not even worth drawing my sword. I wanna see it. Nice. She looks really cool. I love her. <laughs> She's in love as well. I love her as well. That's really, really cool, then. Uh, hey, did you hear? Supposedly, that guest of honor we were keeping an eye on, the doctor whatever, was attacked by Sylvester's people. You only just heard about it. The news is everywhere. Why don't you tell me what the hell is going on? Wasn't this doctor person invited by NCODs himself? Well, the version of the story I heard is the attackers apparently thought that the after the uh, after the doctor went over, uh, uh, Arc uh Arctots uh, offered some under the table deals. Huh? Mr. Arctots didn't do something like that. Dumbass, can't you tell this is obviously nonsense made up by the attackers? If you ask me, after finding out that the Arctots is going to be hosting the doctor, and the is trying to set Arctots up. Maybe the people had any attacks that were sent by NCODs too. Yeah, that makes sense, just as you said. Really? I don't think it makes much sense at all. Then why are we spending all this time keeping tabs on the doctor? We're probably not in cahoots with NCODs. Hmm. I didn't fully understand you before, so I ask your forgiveness if I have offended you in any way. As you NCODs honored guest, I should be watching my words. But something doesn't add up about this attack made against you. Indeed, it doesn't add up. Someone's pulling the strings. And Theodis. No, it doesn't sound like anything from this. The only ideas about who's behind it, but... Oh. Oh. <laughs> well said. But Lace, we always said you were a skilled addition and had a good head on your shoulders. But looks like you still have a lot to learn from the doctor. You're exactly right, sir. Oh, right, Valace. Pass this message on for me. The men don't need to keep watch over the doctor anymore. Just focus on guarding our territory. As for the guards the doctor brought along, they'll be allowed to come and go freely from now on. Yes, sir. I just happened to overhear a bit of your conversation from, from the hallway. I don't have any interest in your guessing games, but I might be able to offer you some clues. Kyogander is our witness. Doctor, I apologize for the rudeness of the pa uh, Palarosh clan. My name is headed the house of the Pal of Palarosh. I swear to Kyogander that I was not the one who instigated this attack. If you are willing to believe me, let me assure you that there are absolutely no scoundrels in the Pal Palarosh clan that would carry out such a malicious attack by my back. Thank you for your trust, Dark Thoughts. Hmm? I never said anything about trust. Hey! Well, you 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 you, you trust me in, in telling me that, right? But at least I'm certain. Uh, now that you're not any mischief. Doctor, I may not be much of a philosopher, but even a rough around the edges man like me can smell that there's something unusual brewing in Kirag. And damn Nancyodi is suddenly talking about uh, ceding power back to the Saint Ass, then driving Gnosis away, and now putting you in this position. And someone attacked you in the midst of it all. Let me be honest, I can't help but suspect that Nancyodi is up to no good, even if he hasn't shown the slightest flaw in what he's doing. But I'm not gonna sit around and wait for the land to, and to, uh, to us by Kiragander to fall into danger. In that case, Ark Thoughts. What is it? I'm just looking could also mean... Um... We finished preparations with not much time left. I don't know. What? Oh, oh, big explosion. Boom! A massive explosion goes off in the distance. The people outside whisper amongst each other, debating whether or not it is going to snow. The people inside lower their heads without a word, shoulder, uh, shouldering an intangible burden. Gnosis, uh, Edelweiss. Adam Matadil's brown tail. It seems like I finally earned the privilege of talking with you face to face. You can't fool me with that famed humility, Gnosis. You're plenty smart yourself. Let there be no shitty dealings between honest people. 
you didn't want something from me, you would not have uh, been trying to meet me again. And again, wait, why are your headphones like this? Are these, are these headphones like... Um... Are these, are these like... Are these, are these ears for decoration? Where the head... Okay. Um... <laughs> if you're just trying to assert your dominance here, then I do believe it's time for me to bid thee farewell. Four ears? I know, but like... Not every operator has, uh, you know, ears here, right? I know there's four ears and stuff, but then I want to know, like, are these ears just for decoration? But then, like, what, what about operators that only have ears on top of their head and don't have four ears? Because then what do they wear? They have human ears? Yeah, but, like, Mountain doesn't have human ears, right? Right? I don't think so. Don't be such a hurry, no, sis. I mean, that'd be actually kind of horrific. Cause like, imagine if under all the fur in like mountain, uh, the mountain has, it's like he has, uh, <laughs> he has human ears. So you should like feel around. And if you like, if you, if you like, if anyone like touches that inside of his head, they might come into contact with like human ears underneath the fur. <laughs> Uh, don't be in such a hurry, Nosis. I have a few questions for you. When I first heard that the Edelweiss 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 clan followed Enciodes back to Kirag, I finally was not too surprised. If you don't think about it, I'm thinking about it. I thought you either had some evidence to prove the Edelweiss's uh, Edelweiss's would not be adverse to the Silver Ash clan, or perhaps he had something to hold over Enciodes. But neither you nor Enciodes have said anything about what happened back then. Well, you still allow the Silver Ashes to rebuke you for your shamelessness. What keeps you going? I'm curious. He promised me a future. A future? Kirag's future. An emerging industrial country that would allow me to utilize my talent and research without fear of plagiarism, misuse, or suppression. That's all. Needless to say, I never expected you to understand in this first place, Ratatosh. You'll never be a researcher after all. Wow! Okay, that's a bit of a, uh... A bit of a... A, a, a remark, but okay. It may be difficult for you to understand how thrilling it is to freely explore the in 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 innovation and application of technology backed by plenty of resources. Wait, I just realized if you if you wear headphones, you have to wait. Question, chat, question, question, question. Um, if you have two, if you have two ears and both are functional, wearing headphones must really suck. Like, if you wanted to just block out the outside world, you'd have to wear headphone, uh, headphones and earplugs, right? Earplugs on the top ears, headphones on the bottom ears. Just to try and block out, like, the noise. Otherwise, you'd still be able to hear stuff. That, 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 that sucks. That really sucks. Man, anyway. I guess if you were, like, um... The Kaepernick still have human ears? I can't remember. I know they, they have ears at the side of their heads, right? But like, imagine if you're Kaepernick and you want to wear headphones. That'd be like awful because it would just smush your ears into your head, right? The great open back headphones? Yeah, but it'd suck if you want to like, you know, only listen to music and nothing else. Hmm. Anyway. <laughs> It may be difficult for you to understand how thrilling it is to freely explore the animation and its application technology, but with plenty of resources and privilege. Uh to be given a legitimate purpose. We're talking about words like a world that uses crossbows and gun shaped magic wands. I think it plugs the least of their meanings as well. I just I just I mean I already talked about like the tail or whatever. I only mean, has goat ears. Yeah, okay, cool. I was gonna say, I think Capernaum only have goat ears. Um and no human ears. But like you know, I've already talked about how inconvenient it'd be to wear a tail. I mean, does it know Rax give a really good explanation as to how the tails would work, I think, but yeah, it's like the the, the, the tails suck as well. And also like the, the horns. If you sleep at night with horns, that is just sounds awful, right? And so it's supporting the the Sennheisers. Yeah, the herder six on Josh. For anyone who gets a reference, you get a gold star. Um <laughs> Uh, so here's the deal you stuck. You give me your sales and he provides you a stage. And then what? Surely you were gonna tell me he pushed you out and made you take the fall just to protect himself. Is this- is, the, is this all that current, uh, Carlin trades cost-benefit analysis amounts to? Do <laughs> you love me for the reference? <laughs> I have much 
watched many a dank pods. I watched it for like uh It's been it's been a couple years. Like I remember how, like the first video I watched. I think the first videos I watched of his were the um the iPods with like many a terabyte of storage slapped inside of them. So I've been watching since the iPod repair days. <laughs> Um, and the, uh, yeah, the iPod modding, and the, and the, yeah, the Shrek pod. Um, you seem to have a lot of faith in Kyle and Trade. Why didn't you accept the offer to work on the NCODs two years ago? Don't really ridiculous. No matter how powerful NCODs is, you cannot change the faith that has been deeply rooted in the bones of our people for the thousands of years. Kyle and Trade can only grow as big as the Tricon Council and the Vine Bear Court allow. It's impossible for Kiari to industrialize. Wait. So he's found a new bargaining chip? Exactly. There was no way for Enzuni to turn the people of Karag against Karag Gandir. They had to reach a compromise. But he's been stuck there for far too long. No matter how many times I tried to push him, he seems indifferent. Until they finally came an opportunity to turn things around. And his empathy symptoms are under control. And then it still isn't a cure. She's able to return to him alive and well. The <laughs> order is but old mate said it. Yeah, exactly. I love, I love dang pods. Um... I slightly told him that it might be possible to decompose cooperation with an outside party to better control the spread and harm Rithia at a lower cost. No, and Seonis wouldn't. Of course not. Once the gate to Kiarag is open, it cannot be completely sealed again. The number of infected living in Kiarag will only increase, which is the reality of our world. During the process of Kiarag's new development, the ability to deal with Rithia will ultimately become a new bargaining chip. He's about to make the people of Kiarag decide between faith and technology. Faith alone will no longer protect them from our Rithia. Empty rhetoric. There's no proof. Come with me then. Bring your people along, including those you can fight, and I will show you something. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Wait, was it? Oh, the, 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 now the... I messed it up. Now the, the names thing wasn't on the screen, was it? I messed it up again. We can't do anything right. So she's sleeping late. Saying to now they have to wear eye masks to glow through and hail. <laughs> Because the glow there on Halo caused him to jump falling asleep. That's really funny, but really sad at the same time. Alright. Great. This place is a place. This. There we go. Morning. Got any new plans? There we go. Yeah, this is Scotty. Level 20. Oh god, my throat's killing me. Right! This feels like a good place to end the stream for now, at least. Um, there will be no stream later today, in like, a, in like a few hours. It's quiet. Um... It doesn't have the constant pitter It's currently four, so literally in like three hours there'll be another stream. So I gotta, I gotta get the, the, uh, the waiting room ready for that. And also eat. And I know I'm gonna eat this time. I gotta like, Great. really quickly eat. This place is the same as it ever So yeah, about 7.45, I'll see you guys again for, okay. uh... Idalian, Gen 2, watch along. I'll only be like an hour long, so I don't need to worry about, you know, it's gonna be massive, but... I wanna, I need to get ready for that. So, yeah, thank you so much everyone for stopping by. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do subscribing. Please, let me, please let me be already. I'll be, I'll be picking this up later this week. Oh my god, my stutter is getting worse. My stutter is getting worse. Yay! All right. Okay. Uh, I'll see you guys later today. Um, and then that's gonna be I don't know. And then Friday probably PGR. We'll see. And then I'll probably talk about again on Saturday. So I'll see you guys then. For if you want to continue the the, the cringe every meeting, and hopefully I'll be stuttering less then. But yes. Uh, this link's pretty fun to join, no pressure to of course. I'll see you guys, uh, tonight. A few hours. I'll set up the waiting room just now. Good night, everyone! Good night! <laughs>